Is this your first time to meet Silas? Yeah. Right there. Say hi to him. Sit down. Right there. Sure is. This is really awesome. I haven't been up here yet. Pretty neat, ain't it? it sure is. I spent a lot of time and effort up here, you know. I built this desk. Oh, Phil's back. Never mind. <laughs> Me and Phil built, built this desk. All the equipment's ours. I didn't know Phil was a handyman. Oh, he's the money. Yeah, I, so. <laughs> I can see that with this truck outside. Yeah, you're good. Oh, sir, I appreciate it. Huh. Don't trust you already. <laughs> Didn't want any of them, Phil. Look who's Don't back. trust him. Back again. Don't trust him no more. I I told Brittany that uh, those would be gone in one week. I was close, just halfway gone. And well, you, I was gone. You were I was gone. Yeah. You were gone. I was yeah. gone. So that's all, Phil. No, no, Phil. Phil. Oh, Dad. Dave hit some You're a rock star already, Dane Talbot. Chris Talbot. Chris Talbot. Yep. Yeah. Good dude. Yes, he is. Down in Pittsburgh County. Love down there Chris. down there in the, at, the, at the penitentiary. Yep. Chris, you Chris um, is, you get your deer yet this year? I saw I'm you sure, went out yeah. with your boy. Hey, to your I, know, I know he went out with his boys. Yes, there you go. Thank you, buddy. I wonder if you got one yet. Good Lord. Am I that big? <laughs> I look massive. Are <laughs> you kidding me? Look at me. I look right. Look at me. I think... Uh, Starting next year, this is our warm-up show. We haven't officially started yet. Uh, I think next year we have a different background in January. We are? I think so. I almost died right there. G the carrot? Oh, that's a real thing. Hey, Dane's here. You want one of the six or seven say. waters back there? No, no, no. <laughs> I can't eat cra- carrots. I choke on them. Just the dough? No, kidding. Yeah. no it's a real... Chris? Yeah. Wow. I almost died at Pizza Hut. Yeah, you did. I really did. So next time we're at lunch, no carrots. I love well, carrots. Well, the problem is I get to going, you know, blowing and going, and I'll just throw a carrot in and not even realize it. Next thing you know, I'm going, <laughs> I, if they get stuck when I swallow. Do you not chew them? To my credit, though, I went to all the booths and asked him if they knew CPR. He did. He checked for me. I go, hey, <laughs> no, okay, thank you. Uh, is that mushrooms? That's got the last idea. one. He finally looked at me and said, sorry, buddy. It's been a good run. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. No mouth to mouth coming from him. <laughs> ain't come from me either, <laughs> Dane. No, 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 Dane's a professional. He'd say, "Take one for the team." Yeah, he'd say, <laughs> "I have many fresh breath. It wouldn't be all bad." Well, not right now. I've been eating peanuts, so that's a bit a little rough. But all right, well, we're gonna get started here in just a second. Uh, uh, we're gonna have to monitor Facebook because Dane has all of his fans on Facebook, and Uh-oh. I cannot get the comments again. I cannot get the comments. To move over. Let me try one more time before we officially get started here. Chris, it's not going to work. You try this all the time. No, it worked uh, It worked last week. Oh, did it? It did. Well, you were gone. It worked great. Uh, GF Guthrie says, we vote for the downtown live shot for the 2024 background. I think when we get our new blinds, that's a possibility, but it's not a possibility right now because of reflections. Yeah. New blinds are going to be nice. Are you going to do updates on, all that, on the V-Mix all off-season for everything? Well, every time I get on the V-Mix, it says, update it, need it. Oh. And you're scared to do it during season because you don't want to leave yeah, everything. Yeah, you don't do that you during the season. No, no, I get it, but are yeah. you going to do it at the end of the season? It's showing yeah. up. It is now after I... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so you yeah. got it. Okay. Yeah. So, all of our Facebook folks will be able to get on there as well. So, um, uh, your friend Ryan's watching. Uh, Who, who's friend? Uh, Chief. Uh, <laughs> Ryan's my friend. Ryan really? Reeves, right? Yep. He's Ryan I Reeves. consider Ryan a friend. I wasn't talking to you, though. I was talking to Chief. It's about me, Chris. Chris the guest. Or Dane's a guest. Chief. No, he's Dane. <laughs> <laughs> he's always been Dane. He's not in an official <laughs> capacity right now, are you? Not yet. Yes. No, okay. Well, he's, in his, well, he's always in his uniform. Yeah. He sleeps he in that damn thing. <laughs> he goes on dates yeah, with that with his yeah, with we can wife. Have fun right now, but once we go live on a show, what do you mean we can't have fun on the show? Well, yeah, 
not as like this much fun. You got a gun, Dane, to protect us? No, Phil does. Oh, okay. <laughs> Always. <laughs> I love two way. I, I should have knocked before I came up the stairs. Well, yeah, let you, me tell you, yeah. Chris, Chris, Chris was going off a little bit. And we had, I, it's not that far of a drive from Dell City to, to Guthrie. I just, I didn't say anything. I was just giving facts. No, you have a unique ability of talking smack without seeming like you're talking smack. I was just, only people who know you talking know you're talking smack. No, you're. To, oh yeah, only people that know you well know you're talking smack. But we know when you're talking. Well, Dell City has never won more than ten games except for one time since 1980, and then they get three move-ins. Now they're all of a sudden 12 and 0. Well, yeah. Well, no, they're no, they're mad at us that we didn't pick them to go 10 and 0 the regular season, but Phil did, and that's why Phil got all the praise last week. <laughs> okay. All right. And we're nobodies. Oh. Who? We and Chris. Oh no, you guys are very important. Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. we're leading. The, we're leading the team right now in, in picks. Well, I mean, so we've done a great that's job. That's just for fun. It doesn't really matter. It's not that big of a deal. The only one who feels wins. I was champion last year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Morgan, uh, yeah, it would probably be easier if you go to YouTube. I, I, I don't know. Oh, Dane's got fans left and right on here. Dang. And I'm not sure why. Okay, maybe it's taking a little while on Facebook. But uh, definitely YouTube comes up fa- faster, so. All-star job last Thursday. And K-Man says, Dan, you look great on TV. No idea. Who's K-Man? Do you know who K-Man is? That's Steve. Steve Chris. Oh, oh that is. Steve. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I saw it. Steve. Steve. All right. Steve Chris. Jeff Gethry, welcome, Chief. All-star job last Thursday. Yeah, we'll talk about that. No, no. Crazy, crazy Trying to paint day. some pictures together. Come on, Steve. What kind of question is that? Well, they didn't have a busy day last Thursday. No. No, not at all. <laughs> Walk in the park. He knows better than that. So, yeah, we're going to be uh, visiting with uh, Chief Lawson here, uh, transition into the new position, just six months, five months? Five months. June, June 20th. Well, who's counting? Wow. So, wow. Yeah, almost at that time. Wow. But that also, the Guthrie Fire Department is going to be offering some cool things, uh, cool cool service. Can I get a badge? Go, I yeah. need you one. Yes! It's, it's the one with the sticker. sticker. It's yeah. sticker yeah. Phil. I'll take it. <laughs> the plastic helmet. That's okay. I'm yeah. good with that too. Phil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, How's Steve's uh, fantasy league going this year? Is he doing good? No. Nah. Uh, he's very upset about it. Yeah. Does he yeah. usually do pretty good in fantasy? He's, he's, he's the very most com- unlucky person. He's, he's very competitive. He's yeah. very competitive. He oh, yeah. Hey, I think he's in multiple groups, I believe. Or just that one? He's in multiple. Yeah, yeah. He's Where does a, he live now? Uh, in Edmond. Okay. Yeah. In Deer Creek area. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. We officially ready to hear. We get the intro. Welcome to the Open Mic Podcast with Chris Evans and Phil Nichols, along with Ronnie Phillips. Open Mic Podcast is part of the Second Banana Media Podcast Network. Coming to you live from Guthrie, Oklahoma, inside the Second Banana Media Studios, here's Chris Evans. Hello and welcome to the Open Mic Podcast, Wednesday, November 22nd, 2023, the day before Thanksgiving. Here we are. Putting in the, in the salt mines. Working hard Working. here on this Wednesday night. Appreciate all the great viewers already here. We bring on Fire Chief Dane Lawson tonight. Now we got one of our largest crowds of the entire year. And uh, we appreciate you checking us out. And uh, we'll be visiting with uh, Fire Chief Dane Lawson here in just a few moments, along with Ronnie Phillips, Phil Nichols. I'm Chris Evans. Appreciate you checking us out on Second Banana Media. You can check us out on our YouTube channel, Second Banana Media. Uh, be sure to subscribe and like. It's free to do. It is. It's free to do. Yeah. And we're also on Facebook, uh, our second banana media stream over there. Always faster on the comments if you want to be a part of the program here uh, to comment on our YouTube channel. Facebook comes in and out sometimes. Not sure what that. So we're going to try to be monitoring the uh, questions on Facebook as well. So uh, bring those on. And uh, we do this every Wednesday night around 730, 745. But again, our programming notes, uh, the high school huddle, which is a show that we do, a statewide high school sports show. At 6 o'clock, we have a couple more 
couple more weeks left before this show returns back to its 6 o'clock slot. And we'll have more material. It's just so busy with football and everything going on. We don't get to have all the good stuff we went on there, but no excuse. Right, Phil? Sound like one. Oh, it was one. <laughs> it sounded like a really good one. <laughs> good one, but I mean, I, I want to welcome Ronnie back. Yes. Served his... Suspension. suspension. Yeah. What was I suspended for this time? We're not allowed. To, it's part of the agreement. Yeah. We're not allowed to discuss that in public. Oh, okay. But, I'm glad, but I'm glad you got the help you needed. No, oh, thank you. That was yeah. important. Out of state. Oh, I had to fly him out of state. Yeah, yeah. yeah. long. It's 14 hour travel day. Yeah, it was bad. Uh, Brittany says she likes the 7:30 time slot. Oh, well, Brittany, <laughs> you're getting ready to get disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> High school huddles over. We're back to sex. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> all right. I want to bring in the Guthrie Fire Chief here in the great city of Guthrie, Dane Lawson. Dane, appreciate you stopping by and visiting with us here this evening. Thank you for having me. This is an awesome setup. First time I've been up here. Yeah, thank you. Uh, this is where Phil and Ronnie take the full credit? Correct. No, we did before the show started. Well, I just no, no, wait a second. Ronnie took the full credit. Okay. I walked in, heard him taking the full credit. <laughs> he saw me, then he said, oh, and then the truth came out. Yeah. Dave does all the work, the building stuff. Oh, I thought Chris and I built this. Still lying, Ronnie. Dave Dave built the table. Yep. Um, Chris gave him the design that yep. he wanted. Yep, yep, I mean. What'd I do? Not a damn thing. <laughs> yeah, when it came to the table. Fire Chief Dean Lawson, uh, boy, they, the comments keep coming. And if you have a question for uh, Fire Chief Lawson, we'll be glad to throw those out here. But, uh, Dane, I, I'm officially old because I remember calling your football games on the radio. That's how old <laughs> I am. How about it? <laughs> you talk about I used to go to his house and play football. Me, him, we and sure Kel, did. and that little, yeah. be, that little be a sliver of grass we had in his front yard. We did that every day in the summertime. You guys were classmates? No, he's a little younger than me. You're but, younger. But, okay. they, but Kel yeah. and Dane lived right there by us, and we'd walk down to Dane's house or Kel's house, and we had a little patch there. Of, of, of grass, and we played football in that little patch, and sometimes you get tackled on the concrete, and that just happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, uh, Dane got the uh, the promotion, fire chief. Yeah. Uh, Eric Harlow previously took a, a job out of, uh, the, after retiring, as she said, probably the easiest way to say it, uh, retired, and then a selection committee got together, got some interview. How was the interview? It was probably the most nerve-wracking thing I've ever done, yeah. honestly. Uh-huh. I can and imagine. It was my... Um, that was my second interview ever. My first one was with Guthrie Fire Department. Which the, what year was that? Two thousand nine. Okay. Wow. So in December two thousand nine. So that was my first interview, and then for the fire chief, this was my second interview. And I would think it's even even tougher of an interview because you know the people, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't know walking in there was going to be who all was going to be in yeah. there. So I saw familiar faces, and it kind of yeah that helps. Yeah, that helps. Yeah, that helps. Yep. So um, it was definitely a nerve wracking deal. Yeah, and so you know when you when you interviewed for that spot, you know you're you're not the oldest. I mean, you're not the oldest member at the Guthrie Fire Department. There's some uh, gentlemen at more years with you, uh, older in age as well, including the battalion chiefs, and they were part of that deal. And I thought it was pretty cool that they all recommended you yeah. for that yeah, spot. That, I couldn't thank those guys enough. Yeah. I mean, you consider Chief Maktoff, he's been there for 28 years, yeah. and then you've got me coming in with 14 years, and now I'm above him, and yeah. um, him, Chief uh, Maker, Chief Root, all three of them have been very supportive. Um, I was kind of worried at first, you know, coming in, like yeah. I said, with, I've got way less years than they do, and um, they've been nothing but great and supportive, so I can't thank them enough. But I think one thing, being, being in prior military myself, you know, all the really smart officers, the, the junior grade officers, they came and found NCOs, non-commissioned officers. Typically, those guys have been in 14, 15 years already, much longer than they have. Here comes a young second or first lieutenant. The smart ones, the good ones, they go to those people with the experience and say, hey, listen, help me. You know, and, and the great ones, and I see this with you, have no ego. Correct. You know, they just they want to do a good job. They don't care about getting credit for stuff. They just want to do a good job, put a good product out there. So I've noticed that with you. It doesn't surprise any of us that know you. Yeah. Uh, you've done a great job, and we expect that you'll just continue to do that. But I think, I think it's I think it's always awesome when you can get people in positions like fire chief, um, with people that are born and raised here. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a great thing. Yep. I think that means a lot. So. I love it. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of positive things with it. I'm sure there's a few things that like, especially being a police chief when David Devereaux was the police chief and now the sheriff, 
and I, he, people get pulled over. I, I went to school with the, the police. Yeah, chief, I know. With Damon. Uh, I sign here, press on. <laughs> 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 so, uh, but definitely more advantages with that. So when, 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 when was day one? May, June? Uh, so day one was June 20th, um, and I was on shift um, the 18th. And Eddie was like, so when can you start? I was like, well, I'll start the 19th. And he was like, well, no, take a day off. And yeah. Then, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Come in. And he's like, just move in and take the first day, kind of relax and just get your stuff situated and then take it off from there. Yeah. 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 You didn't even have the, the white gear. White stands for chief, and didn't even have the gear for. Oh, I was, <laughs> for I was a wearing while. my uh, lieutenant. <laughs> lieutenant. Yeah, uh, polo for a few weeks, but um, yeah, it's it's been great. So awesome. there's a lot of things we're going to talk about with the fire department. And there's some, and we could spend four hours sure easily here tonight. So we're going to hit some of the big things, including a new service that is coming here soon. We're going to talk about that, and uh, when we do, you can uh, ask your. Qu- have your comments and questions anytime. We'll, we'll try to get to most as we can. Uh, but a cool subscription program coming up that will can be a huge thing for your for your family. But uh, before we get that, talk about the transition. Uh, the uh, and you, you you've been around for four, fourteen years for the for the fire department, so you know that. But talk about that transition from sure. And so whenever Harlow told us he was retiring, he he took us to breakfast at Simone's and told all of us officers that he's retiring. And um, whenever I talked to my wife about it, it wasn't really something I was interested in. Okay. But then um, you had the changeover with Leroy leaving and then Eddie stepping in, and it kind of it kind of scared me. And then I didn't – not that anyone from the outside wasn't qualified. Um, right. But I got to thinking, like, man, just someone can come in here with this unrealistic pipe dream, thinking they're going to fix our manpower situation and um, – get us a second station, third station, you know, all that. We just don't have the infrastructure for that. Yeah. Um, so after talking to my wife about it, I was like, I think I'm going to put in for it. It's something I really want to do now. Um, the transition, it's it's been challenging um, just for the simple fact. I was union president for the last seven years mm-hmm. before I moved over to this chief's position. and um, But also in that same breath, it I kind of undervalued how much it prepared me for this role. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, because I mean, there's a lot of politicking going on, yep. yeah. and um, but um, I do miss the guys. That transition has been hard. Just like hanging out with them every night. Um, I usually try to go in early and have breakfast with them and talk mm-hmm. to them and um, just keep that relationship. Um, but the transition has been pretty easy. And go back to circle back to the battalion chiefs. They've been great and supportive, so it's made that transition easier. Yeah. Um, and then all the other officers there, the firefighters, they've been very supportive, and it's it's been awesome. You got a great crew, you Absol- really do. Oh, absolutely, you got a great crew, absolutely. So uh, the fire department, uh, of course, you got your chief, and then you got three battalion chiefs, and each of those battalion chiefs overlooks a shift, and you have the red shift, the green shift, and the blue shift. Correct. And now on each shift, you have ten ten per shift. Correct. Correct. Yeah. And then, uh, because we'll, we'll talk about manpower here in a little bit, but you have 10 per shift, and at, at any given time, it could be six guys on, on, on one shift, could be eight. Sure. Not so, necessarily 10 the entire time. Correct, yeah. We've got 10, and then you usually have two off with vacation, and then you've kind of got a pad with someone calling in sick yep. or someone being in class, continuing education and all that stuff. Um, so usually, at the minimum, we have eight to seven. So, and then if we drop below six, we mandatory someone in if they don't yep. volunteer to come in or call back. And, uh, you know, one of the big things, uh, well, I'm sure you're working on these numbers here a little bit, every year that, that call volume goes up. Of course, your, your EMS district is the entire Guthrie School District, plus uh, some more north, northern Logan County and also eastern Logan County. Correct. Uh, so you have that huge area. And then you also the fire district that you guys have. So it's a two for one. Like in Edmond, they, there's a fire department and then there's an ambulance service. We're in correct. Guthrie, yep. it's all it's one roof. We're cross staffed. Yeah, yeah yes. cross staffed. So with that, with all those calls, and I will, it will be just under four thousand. But usually, we're getting closer to that four thousand number of calls every year. Correct. And people I live up and down Noble and Division. They hear you guys all the yeah. time. Mm-hmm. So I've I've never had Facebook. Um, but then lucky you. I, yeah. So I, <laughs> I made this Facebook for the fire department. Oh our, our last one was deleted. And, um, now I get to see all the comments, like where are the fire trucks going? Where's the yes. police going? Yeah. What's going on? You yeah. know? Mm-hmm. So everyone's always curious, but yeah, we, we light up division quite a bit. So even coming into this interview, I, 
They were heading out. They were heading yeah, out. So, yeah. I, I, I know when, <laughs> not, not even not even wearing baseball season, during off-season baseball, <laughs> we're the first people to hear them because we're right across the street <laughs> from the fire department. So we hear it all the time. It's nonstop, it seems like. <laughs> and, and nonstop was an you know, example last Thursday. Uh, your, your guys were out on an accident uh, with injury at State Highway 33 in Santa Fe. And then I – there's so many different I mean, car fire, hay bale fire, house fire, all. I mean, you guys went from one call to another, and these are two serious incidents. Very serious. So yeah. we started the morning. We actually had to fly someone um, yeah. to OU trauma, and then they went to another wreck after that one, just east. Just east, yep. And then um, the, they couldn't even get back in service before another wreck came out. And then finally, that house fire came in, and um, there was two personnel. Um, Captain Reeves and Firefighter Nettles, and they took the tanker over to that house fire. With two people trapped. With two people trapped, yep. So they got there and were able to get those two people out safely. And, huh, I mean, the the work those guys do every day, day in, day out, um, mm-hmm. improvising to get calls taken care of, it's it's admirable. When you have When you have multiple stuff like that, Every day, do you have to call people in to help out, or are you, or were you able to, to control right. that just with the eight, eight guys you had for that yeah, day? We, we actually had some callback come in, and then um, we assisted LifeNet EMS. They came in and had to take that um, wreck, and then Captain Reese actually responded with an ambulance by himself, and um, one of the first responders had to drive him to the hospital. Mm-hmm. Um, and Edmond Fire Department <coughs> Station 5 came all the way from Covell and 35 to help yeah. us out. Good. And that was for a three-vehicle accident at 33 and 35. Correct. Because yeah. you guys we were, were still... on the 160 hay bales on fire. 160, and four of them burn a long time. So only 160 of them. Yeah. So as chief, that's something you have to... You have to, you have to prioritize. <laughs> say, okay, I need help, so I need to call... Uh, Station 5 in Edmond to come help me out, and you make that call. Correct. Yeah, it's organizing mass chaos, right, basically. Right, right, yeah. Um, but credit to our dispatch, too, because, goodness, they're they're getting inundated with those 911 calls, and they have to organize it. And uh, 30 people calling about the same, same yes, thing. Yes, yeah. yes, they're making the phone calls to get us the help we need. And, um, yeah, they, they're they kind of the unsung heroes because they work behind closed doors. Mm-hmm. So they, they're never seen in action. Yeah. So and they're, they're our lifeline to our oper- daily operations. So mm-hmm. we can't thank them enough as well. Yeah, not only getting information to you, but trying to keep the other side calm or relaying instructions for them to help the situation until you guys get there. Sure. sure. Yeah, so uh, no doubt about that. Saw Bree uh, this past week and said, good job the other day. Yes. Yeah, you, yeah, you she's, worked hard on that. She's a heck of a dispatcher. She is really, really good. So – Okay, so again, coming up here in a second, we're going to have a, a new subscription program that the Guthrie Fire Department will offer to all the great citizens here. And uh, if you have a question or comment, we get those as well. Okay, so there for years you were with the union. Sure. And, you know, the city, with the, when you look at the city budget, $3 million bucks ish goes to the police department, $3 million buck ish for the uh, fire department as well. Those are the two biggest budgets there. Sure. And so... You know, the equipment, uh, you know, the taxpayers, the CIP, they get a ladder truck. But I, I always tell people who always ask about those fire trucks, you guys do too good of a job of keeping them clean and pretty, and they look really good. But underneath them, there's there's They're many miles out. and all that stuff <laughs> sure. associated with that. So uh, just talk about your fleet as we kind of get into the, uh, the budget and all that. So, you know, we actually got really lucky with that ladder truck and new engine that we got. Mm-hmm. Um, the ladder truck was purchased with the CIP funds, and um, the ladder, our new engine, our, our engine that we just purchased with CARES Act money, um, mm-hmm. we got that at a perfect time because now in today's market, um, Phil has seen it with oh, our ambulances. It's insane. <laughs> He's enjoyed those meetings. It's um, insane. But a new engine today and a ladder truck, I mean, whenever we spent $900,000 on that ladder, today it's probably 1.6, 1.7. Yeah. Wow. The engine that we have today is approaching a million. And today they're not even locking in prices anymore. They You secure your engine, mm-hmm. and basically they tell you three years out, build out, and the price keeps raising. It's, it's insane. So um, we've also, I mean, Phil's got to sit down, and he's on the 522 board now, and um, he got to see the prices for a new ambulance. So bumper to bumper, a new ambulance now is $419,000. 
So it, you guys have say it's, it is. You have five ambulances and if you watch the city council meeting. There's some things flip flop and chassis and, and sure. all that other stuff uh, that goes with that. But they also purchase a, a, a van, a, a van ambulance. I don't. Is that, is that what is that yeah. Is it's called it transport. Yeah. Is what it is. So we're doing we do a lot of transfers out of Mercy Logan to the um, facilities for um, higher level care, and um, we're trying to keep that van on the pavement as much as possible. Right. It's supposed to be just be doing um, transfers. And if they catch a 911 call coming back home, then we'll just we'll just take it. Mm-hmm. Um, but <laughs> that thing's already got like 3,000 miles on it already. It's been in just on transfers. Three weeks. And that's just transfers. Yeah. So well, and uh, it's just not built to be on these roads. And we you sure. cover a lot of gravel roads, dirt roads, a lot of very difficult terrain getting in and out and that thing just won't hold up. Absolutely. To that. Absolutely. I mean, it just won't. Absolutely. So, and the and we're, there's some good questions coming in here. We're going to get those here in just a second. Uh, you know, you, you've been familiar with the budget and what it takes with the, all the pricing of these deal uh, of these vehicles, but also manpower and needing a second fire station as well. Uh, now you've seen both sides. You know, you know, Eric had to do a lot of that as well. Uh, are you guys? D- does your guys understand? Or do they? I know there's frustration there because they they see it day in and day out. And, and the the brunt of of some situations sure sure and uh you know and you're right in the middle of it sure. now you're officially right in the middle yeah, of it. yeah and i was a bit big advocate for it whenever i was union president yeah. and um you know it's the guys back at the firehouse they're very very passionate yeah so you know it's frustrating whenever you know our call volumes doubled in five years and you know we just haven't got much help but yeah. the money is just it's just not there um, we're Eddie's, he realizes there's an issue and he's been working on it. Um, mm-hmm. we've both been working on it. We've been brainstorming almost every day. You know, he makes, he'll, he'll make a jab at me like, oh great. The fire chief's in my office. What do you, like, what do you yeah. need now? Yeah. What do you want now? <laughs> so, um, but no, Eddie's been great. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a, it's a challenge to fix our problem. I, I had a goal coming in. I wanted a second fire station. I wanted to get, um, our call volume to match, other people like so for instance um edmund their firefighters per man they run Mm -hmm. like 88 calls per man on average our guys are running 148 on average wow so my goal is to get them below 100 um so we'll work on that and hopefully we can find a solution and and it's not just looking for solutions locally but also statewide and you know absolutely you know especially with the ems and you know it's on property property statements ems you see that three mills and that was established decades ago. Sure. And uh, just, and, and this is not just a Guthrie. I, I always remind people, it's not just a Guthrie issue. It's right. it's more so Guthrie because of the area that you got. You have both fire and ambulance. Right. And plus, your area is huge. It's massive. Yeah. The guys the other day had a call in the Wellston area. and they literally, blows my mind. Yeah, they literally could have got on 66 and hit the chicken shack there. And then, Why didn't they? Should have brought okay. some chicken back. <laughs> I mean, after looking at the actual we're talking call, about money yeah. now. You ever been yeah. Chicken Shack lately? <laughs> Holy cow! Well, it's I'd like buy, sixty dollars a plate. But after looking at the call, our fastest route was to actually go thirty-five to Second Street. Isn't that crazy? It is insane. Well, and I, th- and I think and that one, doesn't count I thirty-five. People yes. forget about I thirty-five too. Right. Right. One forty-three to one seventy-one ish. Yeah, but, and I think also with all the the construction going on, all the additional people moving to Guthrie. You know, we were at a meeting, uh, was it Monday evening, Chris? Monday, uh-huh. Monday night, and they shared some data. Guthrie's since basically the first 100 years of existence plus, population was flat. 10,000. 10,000. Last 10 years, last 10 years, population inside the city limits of Guthrie's went up by 2,000 people. I mean, there's over 900 permits filed with the city inside the city limits. That didn't even count all the area you cover. Right. When you look at the area that, that our fire and rescue covers, in the ambulance service, it's an enormous amount of homes being built. Yeah, people that's moving the same into the ones on the east side of Pine. I mean, you know, we talk about how one ambulance is over four hundred grand. We don't just need one. We, we're at, we're at a point with this growth. We're going to need to buy an ambulance about every year. Sure. And that takes money, you know. And so that's one thing I've been telling folks, just talking in the community, is, you know, listen, it's it's no different in your home budget. If you need things, you got to find a way to pay for them. You got to prioritize. You got, I mean, you, you know, you've got to do that. And there's nothing more important than the safety, safety, health, and safety of the citizenry. Right. There's nothing more important than that. 
One of the uh, questions here at GF Guthrie, and this has been kind of getting some momentum here a little bit, but what would a potential second station do as far as staff-wise and uh, kind of going to what a second station would look like? Of course, you know, we would love to have a second station right now, but talk about what that would look like and where that would be a good location for. So that's a great question. Um, Eddie and I actually met with Bill, who um, owns OHC uh-huh. out there. Bill um, so that that was kind of a location we were looking at. Um, he said he would, you know, he'd be willing to help us out with some land mm-hmm. um, if we ever made it that far. Is getting a second Which station. is off the Sooner Road behind right. Oklahoma Home Center by the former uh, across the street from what used to be rural water. Correct. And um, that would be perfect because then at that point on car wrecks, ambulance calls, we can hop on the interstate, go north or south. Um because besides, we had a study done, and then besides our city limits that most of our ambulance calls are in and fire runs, um, south counties are mm. um, where we run to the most. Heavy area. Yeah. I like that because we need to get that built within 10, 15 years because I'm going to need some ambulance runs to my house, and that's just down the road. Right, right, right in the road. <laughs> yeah. What would that look like? Would you have an ambulance there? Uh, so if- to staff it, um, that would be a challenge with our current manpower. Right. Um, but. I mean, it's something we can definitely look into. We're going to have to hire more firefighters. Correct. I mean, we're going to have to. Uh, (laughs) We would send an ambulance out there, our boat, which we need to send a boat, and it needs to be hooked up 24-7. And a lot of stuff inside. Yes, yes, (laughs) inside. Um, We'd send our rescue out there and um, a fire truck and our backup ladder. Perfect situation. How many firefighters would be there? Perfect situation, well, perfect. We'd have... At least sure. six and six. Yeah. 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 So, um, that's yeah. And, and that's, you know, guys, listen, this way you're talking about the runs they're making, we're already understaffed. Sure. Right? Sure. And with the population growth, we're going to have to hire more people. I mean, and I think that's, that's the big thing that as we talk about a lot of different needs within the community, um, and there's a ton of them, um, but again, you, 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 you're, you're, your, your first responders, your fire and your police officers have to be manned correctly. They have to have the things that they need to do their job. And, and I don't care. I, I don't care. I mean, we all want things, but these are things you have to have. It's like having a roof on a house. Right. I mean, you got to have these things. So we're going to have to, as a citizenry, we're going to have to get used to the idea that it's not uh, 2008. It's not, darn sure, not 1978. You know, and it's going to take more people, more facilities, more equipment, based purely on the amount of people that are here. I mean, sure. you, you can't, you know, you, I, I got to believe the number, you said, was it 140 some on average? Yes, 148. That's beyond, I mean, that's yeah, crazy. That's a lot. And, <laughs> I mean, and just to be clear, I mean, you, you touched on the point. I mean, we're not the only department that needs help. Um, right. Police needs help. Tenney's crews need help. Um, City Hall needs help. Mm-hmm. I mean, everybody needs help. So um, I can just get up here and express my concerns and our needs. So yeah. I realize every everyone, every department throughout the city needs uh, help. And, and that's a good problem because at least I, I grew up in a town where it's dying. I mean, it's going backwards. You know, I mean, these are real world problems and they're not easy problems to solve. Sure. But with more people coming in, that means more money's coming in. It's more, you know, so... There is a solution there, but I just think we got to have a paradigm shift on how we look at things and how we think about things. You know, we're not the Guthrie of old. We're growing, and we're going to continue to grow. I mean, we just are. Uh, K-Man says, Dane, uh, how much does the budget need to increase to make this second department happen? I'll donate 25 right now. Let's make it happen. <laughs> the 25 million? Uh, the 25 20, million? I think he, I think he oh, left the M man. off. 25 or, million? Or the yeah, B. He oh, did. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. You know, Mr. Chris, he's, he's got the money. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But so uh, you're, just, on. you're yeah. just a check away from yeah. helping us out, brother. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I bring that comment up to say that the city is proactively looking yeah. for the right thing. There was a task force put together by the city council Correct. to look <coughs> at uh, future capital needs. And a, and a fire station, a second fire station has One come up, up yeah. and just trying to move the city forward. So although we need this for a while, it doesn't mean that we're just sitting back hoping the right. money just falls in the lab. Right. Correct. Yeah. So I want to bring that up there real quick. Uh, uh, Jeff Guthrie says growth is a good thing. Yeah. Uh, Ken, I think you had something earlier. I'll go back and look. Uh, Ken says, in the short term, have you all thought about hiring a contract EMS company to help out until a second department and personnel is established? And 
I have my two cents, but you probably go with I that. I got four. <laughs> you got two. I mean, I that, got four. that's a great question. Um, but if we brought in another EMS agency, um, for one, I think, if I'm not mistaken, they had IMSA bid it. And I think you may have been yeah. part of that. And yep. that was like five years ago. Um, and they quoted like $1.2 million a truck. Yeah. Um, per truck. We, yeah, per truck. <laughs> we have five ambulances right now, and we've proven that's not even not enough. Not enough, yeah. So, and also, to feed into that point, if we got rid of the ambulance, we would lose our 522 district money. And then on top of that, we would also lose our revenue that we collect from the ambulance. So, you would be looking at losing... Um, almost $2 million right there. So you're cutting oh, over half of our department. Yeah, two thirds. So, but that is a great question. But it is. It's just not feasible for our department. And Ken, I would add one more thing on that. Dane hit on the dollars, but the service would also go down. Drop. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, I, you know, I was talking to Eddie not too long ago, and uh, you're a perfect example. And there's a lot of, of these examples at the, at the firehouse, but your guys live here in Guthrie. So going on a call, you guys... A, know the area, you know Correct. probably what's going to happen if there's an accident at this location, this location. You kind of know exactly what you're going to be looking at uh, with speeds. But y- your guys are here, and there's some of the t- two newest guys, you know, Zeb and uh, Jake yep. are, are here. And that's just two small examples. Sure, sure. Yeah. So, Well, and I think, I think again, we can – because I, I think when people look at – police and fire all they see when they look at the overall budget is well those are the two biggest expenditures well if you just think about it there's an obvious reason for that i mean it is what it is equipment's expensive it's expensive i mean the the damn what i don't don't call it the right thing the the stretcher striker the the, the striker striker when i found out how much one of those cost i about (laughs) passed out I mean, you, a, you need to ease guys you, into these things. <laughs> after after our last meeting, we took Phil to show him the uh, new ambulance uh-huh. and the stretcher, and I told him how much it cost, and he was like, "Are you are you kidding me? I said, yeah. We're in the wrong business. We need to start one of those companies." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. Well, tell the people what it cost. So it's insane. Yeah, the striker, which is it's a power loading stretcher. It's which, a stretcher, which we put it's a very nice stretcher. stretcher. Yes. It's a very nice stretcher. Very nice stretcher. Um, Forty thousand dollars. Oh no 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 no, Ronnie! Ronnie. What? There, no Ronnie. There's more. And Go ahead. The, the lift system. Oh, that makes it work. The Go lift ahead. system that you have to put in the ambulance is thirty-two. So you're looking at a over seventy thousand dollars setup. Why don't we just, just go back to the mash days? Yeah, just carry <laughs> people. Carry some bitch. <laughs> oh. I mean, Reeves is strong. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Holy cow. Not everyone's 125 pounds. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Phil. So, Excuse me. <laughs> felt a little personal right there. <laughs> no, but I think uh, the point is, is there's nothing inexpensive, nothing inexpensive in the business you're in. Right. It's just not inexpensive. I mean, and, it, and you, we don't have to like it. Phil, they got a franchise for these for these things? Well, if they did, I'd be. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> sign me up. I, Get the paperwork done. I'd I'll be, sign tomorrow. I'd be calling up. Saying, <laughs> I, want, I want the whole southeast part of the country. Yes, yes, yes. But, but no, but it's, there's nothing inexpensive. There's no easy answers, but we're going to have to come up with answers. Sure. Yeah. And, sure. and when I say we, I'm not talking about the city. I'm not talking about the chief and the staff. Us taxpayers, yeah. sure. we're going to have to come up with the answers, and, and that's going to mean paying more money. I mean, it, it just is. I mean, it just is. That's how we're going to get this stuff. More fees. Love uh, fees. Love uh, fees. Dane, payment. Billy, uh, Billy Poppin asked, any federal grants out there that might help? If there is, I'm sure they're very highly competitive, but I'm not, I've never, I haven't, I'm sure if I've ever heard about federal grants with EMS. Is there? Yeah. So there's a grant out there for, um, Manpower. Okay. Um, we've always been told we haven't qualified, um, but I made a call down to um, OFSA, and they actually said we do qualify. Um, it's something that I'd have to get with Eddie and see if he's okay with going after. Um, it's a safer grant. Mm-hmm. And basically, you start – you you get a certain percentage of the salaries paid for, and then the city slowly takes over. Gotcha. Those salaries. And I think it's like five years before you fully are paying the full amount for those bodies. You got one more question. Be before, be, yeah, I got one more question before we get into this EMS program, which I think is going to be a great thing for families out there in, in, in the area. 
Uh, and we're going to give that a lot of focus here in a second. But um, is there still a, a young crowd looking to get into firefighting and paramedic? Is there still good numbers? Absolutely. Okay. So we just did our la uh, last um, hiring process, and we had, in my short 15 years, we've had the most people show up. And I want to say there's 44 applicants mm. and 38 wind up showing up to the written and physical test. So, um, and that was for two spots. Mm. And mm. so, so we definitely had a good showing and there's That's been awesome. several, I follow, uh, OSU OKC's, um, Instagram and social media and, um, out at EOC and they've got a lot of students in their classes right now. That's good. That is really, really good. I would, I took an application and Dane laughed at me. <laughs> Hysterically? Oh, no, it was hysterical, yeah. All right. A big part of the reason why we have Fire Chief Dane Lawson on with us tonight is the City of Guthrie and the Guthrie Fire Department are going to be beginning a new sus subscription program that can be a huge benefit to your family. And, uh, Dane, I will let you kind of de describe what it is, but hopefully this can all get started January 1, 2024. So the program is actually live now. Um, we've been working with our billing company and – I think she is in the comments, actually, Morgan, um, with EMSMC. Okay. And she's going to be helping answering some questions, too, that may pop up. But they've been absolutely great. They've made this process so easy. Um, and it was just an idea that was pitched to us, and I, we just kind of ran with it. Um, basically, it's, it's separate from the fire subscription, um, but anyone that lives within our EMS response district um, can pay $100, and it covers the entire household, um, no matter how many times you call the ambulance. Hundred dollars a year. Hundred dollars a year for the full year. And if you if you sign up now, you're you're getting all December as well. Oh. And then it, it starts January one. Um, so the link is on the website. Thank you to Aaron Ryburn for putting that up there. On the city website. On the city yep. website. Yep. You can Google cityguthrie.com and find the website. You fill out information. Um, it's a, like I said, hundred dollars for the full year. If we come out and transport you by ambulance, we are going to bill your insurance and write off the remaining balance. And that's available to everyone except for Medicaid patients, Medicaid correct? patients are not um, allowed to sign up. And that's for transport, that's for incidents within our area. Within our area, yeah. correct. Yeah, so if you have an ambulance, you, know, you go visit your grandma in Ardmore, and Ardmore or whoever covers them transports you, that does not fall into right. that. Correct. correct. And that's per family too. That is per family. That will cover everyone bargain. under the household. That's a bargain. And uh, so is this is something for, I mean, like, I, I've been married for 23 years, and we needed the ambulance one time. So you look at that, and there was no transfer. What? You needed an ambulance? I didn't. Oh. Uh, I called. Oh. But uh, so $100 a year, it just it, – I'm just saying it, it's available for anyone, people who never need an ambulance, because there could be that one time, and this could cover a lot of financial. Sure, sure. It's just it's the same way with our fire subscription fee. Um, you pay it, and you may not use us, um, but it's always something good to have. It's, yeah, no I mean, doubt. It's, it's kind of like my insurance. I yeah. never needed it, but I got to have it. Right. Well, right. it's $100 a year yeah. for yeah. the family. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's... so. I'm going to wear that out deal. here in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but you also talked about a fire fire uh, subscription program as well. Correct. Just to touch on that real quick, because there's two separate things. Yes, yes, and we got several of those questions asking if they're the same thing, and they are not. Um, they're going to be completely separate. Um, but, yeah, the fire subscription, same way. If we um, run on a house fire, grass fire, anything that um, requests the fire department, um, if we come out um, – it'll be wrote off we'll build the insurance and then that's it so um the fee the fees are they're pretty high i mean it's like 280 dollars per hour per truck per oh really per man so that my insurance must have paid ours when we had our house fired back in 09 um, seriously yeah because i, I mean, that, did that you turned out did you subscribe Oh, so that's that's a Tanya. No, that's a Tanya maybe, question. Yeah, we must have. Maybe, no, we maybe, must have. No, maybe. Because we didn't, I mean, we didn't have any sure. additional expense, so we sure. must have. When you talk about that fire membership program, I, I think of a lot of people, I think of people in the county uh, with that. Is Correct. that right? Yes, it's it's outside our city limits. But 
the the uh, EMS description program is for inside e- city limits and outside anybody that was within our EMS, which is the Guthrie district. School District. Yes, and then the five twenty, the extra five twenty two that extra. covers the northeast county and south. Correct. Stefan's got a good question. I think uh, Steph asked. And we do see Morgan. She's here. So Morgan, help us out. If there's a good, if there's, if there's a question that uh, you get often, Morgan, let us know what that is and, and the, obviously the answer. But uh, Steph says, is it just for your home address or if you're downtown, will it cover costs there as well? So that's a great question. Um, that's going to be covering you wherever you're at as long as you're within our response district. So I can fall down the stairs. One of the 27. There's 27 of them, Chief. Up and down. And, and I'm good. Yep. Doesn't have to be at your house. Because there's a high probability that'll happen at some point yeah. for me. You think you got a cane already? Oh boy. Ken says the life alert and subscription. What a great idea! And so that 100 bucks weapons. If I get that in February, does it go to February or does it go to January? That would be a good question for Morgan. But I believe you're good. You're covered for a full year. But they're I, trying to get it January to January. I knew that schedule. would be to make it easier yeah. on everybody. Sure. So uh, sure. yeah, if because uh, someone admit you know. Uh, as well, people move in. Someone moves in in yeah. March. You're like, okay, well, yes, I'll take this. Sure. She, I mean, surely you would be covered for, or, you know, from March to March. I Easy, Ronnie. You're making assumptions. I mean, <laughs> well, as, and, as a citizen, that's what I would want. Well, another, Me an, too. another yeah. scenario is if I have it and I use the service and I tell all my neighbors, oh, man, I really paid off to have that subscription fee. And they're like, what, what subscription fee? Yeah. Not, not everyone in Guthrie is watching this podcast, sure. but for those two that are not watching, yeah. they would find out, oh, we know who well, you are. Maybe, we know I, who you maybe are. I need to do that. Yeah, this first couple of years, it's going to be word of mouth, and then yeah. I'm, I'm going to be putting it on social media again. And we'll then, promote it, obviously. So Morgan and her team are actually using this company to mail out flyers, but they are, okay. they've just got addresses for people that we've ran on in the past, so it's just going to be going to them. Um, so it would be great if we could send it to all yeah. 60,000 people. Yeah. Here. A uh, cu- couple of things here. Morgan says it will be from January to January. And then uh, mm-hmm. Carson has a great question. What does an ambulance ride usually cost if you don't have this subscription? Like so that's, that's a great question. Great question. And um, we just brought that up to the council yep. a few weeks back to raise our rates a little. Um, it wasn't punishment to our citizens. Um, basically, Morgan helped us out. We had two um, similar companies. And we looked at their rates, and basically we cut them in the middle. Um, so we, we raised our rates. Like I said, one of the punishments is to combat these costs. Yeah. Um, so you've seen them firsthand. Uh, outrageous. You've yeah. seen them. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you've seen them. Um, so right now, um, I believe an ALS call mm-hmm. where a paramedic life. takes it. Yes, it's, it's about $2,200 plus your mileage. Mm-hmm. I can tell you what it was in Oklahoma City about nine years ago. And it was more than that. It was just a small, small episode. It was a small episode, but I got I woke up and my shirt was unbuttoned, my feet were elevated, and a bunch of people didn't know were looking at me. <laughs> I thought he was in college again. I said, "What, what, what frat house am I at?" <laughs> uh, and before I forget, uh, uh, Morgan, and then if you guys want more information, I, I think I did an article. I can't remember if I did or not, but if not, I need to do one. But an easy way to to ha- have this answer. There's another question here, but uh, Guthrie Fire in EMS is the uh, Facebook uh, site. I pull that up r- real quick. Guthrie Fire EMS. So if you're on Facebook, that you definitely want to follow that. And this is one that I pulled up on November third, and it has all the information right here. Again, you're probably going to be getting some stuff uh, in the mail from. Morgan and her company as well, but uh, uh, we'll also, uh, I think I did an article. I don't know why. I, I would almost have to think I did an article, but I uh, probably need to recirculate that again. Uh, but uh, that's great information there. Got the news page. We'll have it as well. Uh, but you can, all, of course, they can always call the fire, yeah. fire department as well. Absolutely. Uh, question, would one of the programs not cover a home in the new Belmont edition east of town off of Westminster? I wonder what the cross streets are on yeah. that. Oh, firefighters and police, they're so good with their crosses. Oh, Belmont, that would be yeah. um, 33 Belmont. That would be, yeah. If he, yeah. What's your cross I'm not, yeah, it's, I'm not it's, recognizing the Belmont. Edition. It's just past, um, it's about a half a mile past um, uh, EMI. 
Oh, you go, then, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. It's easily, it, it, easily, it has easily the, the, the storage thirty threes right there. Yeah, yeah. That, that road, that's they're, Belmont's they're right there. Definitely in our yeah. response yeah. district. So, so they it would be cover. They would be covered. Yeah. Correct. Because yeah. he goes miles past that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Ryan Reeves yeah. stepped right up. Westminster between college. I'm telling you, these guys, yeah. they know these. They know it. Yeah, college yeah. right next to that addition, yeah. not too far. Oh, don't give out his location. So subscription plan, again, you can email Chief Lawson, D. Lawson, and it's L-A-U-S-C-N. Yeah. How many times is that messed up? Oh, I spell it every time. Yeah. Anytime everyone asks the last get name, the I just start spelling it. Yeah. I don't even say it. Yeah. Uh, email D. Lawson, L-A-U-S-E-N, at cityofguthrie.com. Of course, you can always call uh, the Guthrie Fire Department or the City of Guthrie. Yep, 911. Uh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. No, emergencies oh, only. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> That that turns into a no, oh, that turns into a right now. yeah that turns into a police and sheriff issue oh, after that. Oh, okay. This is how he got sent to Florida. Last <laughs> time. I, Stuff I understand. Like this. Send me back. He got the help he needed. That's all that matters. <laughs> uh, I didn't think I, I was thinking of Chief Lawson, but I didn't think Chief Lawton. Oh is boy, that, is that another one? That, I, s- I saw that. <laughs> it was Reeves. <laughs> Shoot. We need a call to go out for. Is he on right now? No, okay, not. never mind. He's got no. time on his hands. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think I know this answer, G.F. Guthrie, but I'll let uh, uh, Chief Lawson talk about that uh, because I was at the fire chief meeting. And are any fire trucks going to have to have Christmas lights? Oh, we will be in the parade Saturday night. Yeah, you, yep. you got built-in Seven. Christmas lights all year round. Yep, yeah. We need to dec- We've never decorated our truck. <laughs> yeah. In Christmas lights. That'd be a good community service thing to work off your time. Right. Sure. Ronnie, for the put on some yeah, audio yeah. for the situation. I, I know some baseball guys that help out. Yeah, move right across the street. Reese can do it. I mean, he seems like he's got, got free time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I probably should not end this on here. So we got to come up with one more thing after this. But I always think it's so important, and I get to go on a lot of uh, scenes that you guys, uh, as far as covering uh, events, and you guys are see it day in day out. But do you watch your guys closely on? Because they see some stuff. You guys all see some stuff. Do you Crazy. Do you guys watch out after each other, and are there signs that you guys look out for? Because they're supposed to be tough guys. Absolutely. And wow. uh, I'm sure they try to cover that up, which is not a good thing to do. Sure. So I just, just talk to that because I know a lot of people always uh, on social media always say prayers for you guys because there's a bad accident here or there. And they're giving prayers for the families, but they're also praying for you guys just because of what Tough. you guys go from day I to day. Could never do no. it. No. Couldn't even imagine. No way. Couldn't even imagine. No way. You know, like uh, Reese and Nettles and those guys, just last Thursday on that morning, yeah, whenever I, they flew a guy that was in really bad shape, I mm-hmm. mean, every part of his bones were broken in every limb. Um, yeah. They didn't even get to come home and decompress right. from that. Then they go straight to a house fire and they're pulling out someone's family's pets. Yeah. Um, so it's it's just repetitive. Mm-hmm. So, um, but when we come back to the station, we it's a it's a sense of humor that no one's going to understand. Right. Um, it's I, just a bond that we have, yeah. and we you know jo- help joke not about the call, but right. just with each other, yeah. and give each other mm-hmm. banter yeah. and tease each other. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's kind of the way we decompress. Yeah. Because um, it, it's definitely it's repetitive in nature. Um, just how many things you can see in one shift. Yeah. So, which um, is 24 hours. Yeah. So yeah. the other day, Edmond fire department came up and did a little debriefing with us. Um, the guys weren't too happy about it, but after opening up and talking about it, um, I, I think it really helped. There's gotta be resources too, though, through the union or someplace where if they are feeling the, the heaviness that they have to feel sure, absolutely, that they can reach out to confidentially talk to. I mean, I would, I would think, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah they, there's several resources and there's actually some that are specialize in first responders. Yeah. So, um, it's, it's a good deal. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, thank you, Ken. Uh, we can find something here to, uh, to try to end it here pretty soon. We got to get Dane home. Uh, Ken asked, do y'all fill swimming pools up in the summer? <laughs> we do not. <laughs> I, I promise you that water that comes out of those tanks, you, you'll spend more on chemical fixing it. So we do not do that. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I tried, Ken. I tried. Uh, not even for board members on any of uh, we could probably work something. Okay, good. Oh, there you, you go. Well, well, buy me new well, well. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> All part of the system. Check. Uh, <laughs> any other strange requests like that you guys uh, get? Uh, believe it or not, we do get the cats in the trees. I was going to ask you, when's the last time you had a have, cat in a tree one? Have you, 
I, I've never I heard that ask, call. I just ask the person that calls, have you ever seen a skeleton of a cat in a tree? No. 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 They'll come down. Yeah. They'll, yeah. they'll go there. They'll come down. That's a good, that's a good answer. <laughs> well, uh, well, Ronnie hates cats. I love cats. That's true. I don't like cats. Reeves, Reeves <coughs> I think I think you beat Reeves on that one, but he said uh, no no skeletons no cat skeletons oh, in go. the trees. <laughs> uh, uh, K man says this has actually been a great show. I don't I didn't have any expectation, but this was really entertaining, and I'll hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Thank, you, <laughs> Thank you, Steven. My goodness, Steve. and uh, Steve, uh, goodness Steve. gracious, and Chief, you better listen close to this one. Uh, Morgan says she, she would like to eat one of those sweet hats. So I think oh, we can give her one. Yeah, <laughs> you, you'll want to take care she, of her. Yeah, she's yeah. supposed to stop by and say hi. Eventually, but um, yeah. well, I'll get her one. All right. Even whoa, if I have to whoa, mail it. Whoa, whoa. Oh, don't oh, leave out. Okay. Don't leave. Bucks. Don't leave out fish, please. <laughs> I'll pay for it. Doesn't mean you can wear it to different places. But I'll have a badge. Yes. Yeah. A sticker fill. My, my uh, father actually said. wore one in Walmart. This was <laughs> several years ago. <laughs> and someone came up and thanked him for his service. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like, you're welcome. <laughs> C-Y-F-Y-S. That's a Stolen, Stolen Valor. Uh, oh, okay. I, I thought Morgan said this month, but I think she's going to give you a, a month to, to get that hat to her. So, um, okay. Oh, Reeves has awesome. got me covered. Reeves has got me. Oh, boy. My buddy. Uh, that was give me an old one. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, Morgan, thank you for uh, being on standby for us. And uh, if you need to get some information to the news page, let me know through Dane or, or my email. <coughs> is at GetTheNewsPage.com yep. uh, about the subscription program. Yeah, yep. thank you, Morgan. Yeah. And that kind of goes toward the into the budget, the subscription. Yes, yeah. yeah I yeah. hope so. We can yeah. hopefully we'll get a good turnout and we'll be able to yeah. buy us a stretcher. Yeah, well, I hope so. <laughs> and provide a service. That's sure, the most important sure. thing there. So, uh, Chris Talbot says, last word, good job, Dane. Yep, good Appreciate job. That. Thanks, Chris. So, um, we will let you go. We I wanted to say one more thing. Oh, absolutely. Oh, Perfect. I just want to thank you guys. Um, seriously, all the new stuff you do for us, Chris, is always positive. I appreciate it. Um, you know, my wife and I, we always watch football and the games we can't go to. Mm, yeah. Appreciate that. Signing uh, in, I mean – you guys, your your coverage is second to none. Appreciate so, that. Um, that's that's I know awesome. Guthrie's very lucky to have you guys. Um, I appreciate you having taking the time out of your night to do this for us. So um, I really appreciate it. Okay, you you said that and maybe it triggered another memory here. Uh, I'm trying to find the picture. I can't find it right now. But uh, Joe Patello, uh, uh, Patello of the Guthrie Police yes. Department. This is something that you've come on as well. I think you've had a couple of presentations like this. Uh, <laughs> Acknowledging people who give, uh, who help you guys out in the public. Sure, sure. It's it's simple to do, and just acknowledging oh, yeah. someone that's gone above and beyond. Well, and you can do things asset. too, and I think we do. Our community does a good job of this. But like when there's in the summer months, when when, when grass fires are so hot, you'll see people bringing water, bringing Gatorade, yeah. bringing wow. stuff down, and encourage people to continue to do those things. You know, there's always needs. I mean, you know, they're working on a shoe string. Um, at, oh, at the fire station. That's a great point because that last big fire we had, yeah. I mean, there's a line of cars, yeah. water, snack. Yeah. We, we can't thank the public enough for the support. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Dane, appreciate you. Yep. Thank, you thank, thank you, Thank you, Dane. We're going to take a brief, much. brief time out, and we'll come back and oh, finish the show up. No. Potty time? No, we're, we're oh. going to say bye to Dane real quick, and then we're going to come back and uh, okay. thank uh, you, we'll come back yeah, with some no, stuff here real quick. Look who's back. Back again. So 911, that's the number. Right now you're choking on water? I got so many issues. Good thing there's six more now. Oh. Still six left. There's six now? Yep. Thanks, Morgan. Appreciate that. It's over.
Uh, let's see here. GF Guthrie, these. How many viewers we lose now that Dane's gone? <laughs> uh, all of them. He's, yeah. Well, that was a nice compliment. See, GF Guthrie. What did he say? These three helped convince us to move to Guthrie in all of in all of Oklahoma. Oh wow, that is true. I remember. I remember. Is I remember that true? That. Well, I don't know if it's, it's true or nice, not. Just being nice. That is very nice to say. That is very nice to say. <clears throat> I do remember that when he was when he was the T the T of Texas, and then or, or she's, she's, yeah, come on Guthrie. There's great people yeah. here. And yeah. the next, oh my God, he moved here. If this is true, <laughs> so this is the day before Thanksgiving. Any weird family things you guys do? Is everything on? <laughs> we working? Test, 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 Can we test. Talk about anything? Uh, I'm, I'm yellow. Yellow's on. Yellow on. Test, oh, test, yeah, test, test. Yeah, I need to turn test. blue off. <clears throat> yeah, turn blue off. <clears throat> I think my tumor floated to my throat. Oh boy. So, any weird family Thanksgiving? We can talk about anything. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's the open yeah. mic podcast. Open mic podcast. Okay. Go ahead, Phil. Our guest is secure. The security got him out. Yes, he's okay. Gone. Okay, good. Yep. Yeah, he's gone. Yep. No, we're pretty bland at our house on Thanksgiving. Okay. I mean, we now we the food the food the food options at our house not 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 many cooks in the house. No, no, no. My wife's a great cook. She's vegan. Oh. So, so how's that happen on the road on Ooh. Thanksgiving? Love to be on the road at Thanksgiving. What's vegan turkey taste like? I don't know. Is there such thing? My mommy and daddy will have a real turkey. <laughs> so, will you partake in that? Turkey? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You get? Do you get a pass? Get your pass. Yeah, it's red meat. My wife's scared about. Okay. Yeah, okay. she's worried about all my red meat consumption, and rightfully so. Is that some wrong? That's bad. Red meat's uh, it's not heart healthy. So Thanksgiving. Too much of it. Too much. So Thanksgiving, it. do you have turkey and ham, or just one? Turkey and ham. What about Christmas? Turkey and ham. Ham. Oh, we don't cook turkey or ham on Christmas. You guys don't? You don't have ham on Christmas? Yeah, no. Do. What do you do? Eat it? What do you do? Uh, Are you a cereal killer? What do you we, eat? We make make just whatever we want to eat that day. No. We have we have here's our here's well, I'm moving I'm fast forward to Christmas. Christmas, we wake up, open presents, we have we have Sarah makes her homemade sausage gravy. And we have biscuits and gravy in the morning and eggs and everything. So that, you don't that's get together our big with meal the extended today. family? On Christmas? Yeah. Not this year, no. Got, got, you know what? No, got, we don't have next. ham on Christmas. Yeah, no, we don't. We you don't. don't. No, I never uh -uh. think about it, no. Uh -uh. Well, I feel bad for both of you. No, I don't feel bad for me. Well, I mean, I do. We're having, we're having turkey and ham tomorrow. What, what's your favorite side dish for Thanksgiving? Man. I pile on everything. Now, love, mashed potatoes, love, mac and cheese. I love stuffing. The oh, box stuffing is good. I love stuffing. Oh, now that's... That's people, Chris's thing, they, yeah. They, they, they call that dressing, right? Sure. Because ours is stove Stuffing. Yeah, stove, stove top. Stove top. Stove top. Oh. Mom good. loves stove top. But I, I eat that, that throughout the year. Correct. Like it throughout yes. the year. I mean, yeah. that's it's good. It's one of the things that's fairly cheap. Yeah. Mom yeah. makes a, a, a stove top, a, 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 a stuffing, and then she, she always gets the, the box stove top for Chris. Mm. Two separates. I now, mac and right cheese, now. we've talked about this before. Craft Original, right? Box mac and cheese? Um, no. Is, it's Hold almost me. all the same, almost, really. What's wrong on no, Thanksgiving? I'm saying for box, I'm just saying if you like a box mac and cheese, it's something you like the Craft Original, right? Yeah. But if you, if you yeah. go with Velveeta, you don't need the uh, milk. I don't like the Velveeta cheese. Yeah. Too, too, too fake. Too fake. Yeah. 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 Right, give me the powder. Yeah. So, in milk. Yeah. So yeah. What, Or butter. No, no, no. Hey, you know how much butter it calls for a, a box of Kraft macaroni and cheese? It's like almost a full stick. I don't put butter in. You don't? What do you put in there? How do you, in mac how, and cheese? Yeah. Yes. How do you get the noodles to not stick? You got real problems. Uh, milk? You don't no, put, have you ever not tried this butter? You don't put butter in there? You have to have butter in no, it. No, butter is really to, good no, with it, though. Milk in the no, powder. I'm, no, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I'm just saying, if you put a little, I think you'd like it even more. Just do, just do tablespoons. It's healthy for you to have all that butter. You've already got milk yeah. in there. And powdered Milk's sugar. Milk's good for your bones. Okay, that is such Powder's a fallacy. Powder's how you make mac and cheese. Oh, God. Listen, I know everything there's no about food because I'm married to a vegan. <laughs> all right? So, if they, uh, if they say lunch is at noon, what time are you eating? If they say it's at noon, yes, then it's at noon. I mean, when like whenever it actually sets down to eat, yeah, oh, about twelve thirty, yeah, 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 about well, twelve. Yeah, Aunt Janet said I need to have my, I need to have the turkey 
ready to go by 1130. I looked at her. I said, you'll leave when I get there. <laughs> you said that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you. I was on the phone. Yeah, Phil's been a little tough with one of our friends, too. Who's that? The judicial system. Oh. You've been getting a little lippy. Mm. A little, I think you're getting a little too comfortable with the... Uh, I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I st- I've crossed a couple lines. Yeah, a few of them, yeah. Well, not a few. Has there been a few? Jeff Guthrie says, we're excited to show off good. Guthrie during Christmas to our family for the first time. Oh, boy. It, it is a cool town. It is, especially this time of year with all the buildings here in downtown lit up. Lit up. up. Uh, the parade, light parade. Will you guys be going to Territorial Christmas this weekend? Will you be at the parade? Um, it's supposed to rain, ain't it? No, wait a second. Let's see if Christmas answers this honestly. I'd love to. I can't miss it. Can't? No. What time's Ohio State? Uh, noon. 6.30. 6.30. It's not. No, I think it's noon. It's noon. No, it's, no. it's big noon kickoff. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah it's, it's 11, game. actually, I think. Yeah, 11 o'clock. There's a big game at 6.30 that night, too. Chris is very protective of his Saturdays during football season. Oh, no. He set up a, a nephew to not go yeah. to the OU game, but yeah. This is what I was waiting for. Yeah. Go ahead. You got anything else you want to say? But Cousin Nate stepped in. It's okay. Took him? Oh, yeah. And who set that up? Actually, I feel like I did because I'm the one who had a no. told Connor to call because no. we didn't hear from either one of the, nobody that day. He well, didn't ask me. I, Phil, I we knew you were going to say no. I'm not going to ask you when you say no. What do you mean no. I would say no? I would take you. <laughs> I got no, you alerted with less than 24. so not true. You would not go to the OU game. Yes, I would. I've been to OU games. I, I, I know you, you would. I've been to OU games. He offered you twice, he said. <laughs> I've been to OU games. I'm not saying you had never been to OU games. But you make it sound like I wouldn't. I wouldn't step in to help out Connor. That I'd take a fix. No, no, no. I think you would always help Connor, but I don't think – I think going to OU game would just be like, eh, let's find somebody else. It's not that much fun. <laughs> <laughs> My suggestion when we were talking about this, because I had a little fun at Chris's expense that day, was I said, uh, Connor's junior high. Get his best buddy. Cousin Nate can drive him down there. They could set in their seats. Right, that they would have a ball. That's what I try to get set up. Yeah. They'd have a ball, and the people around would would they'd see too. Long. They'd take care of them. Yeah, I I, I, mean, I, I did I did try to get that set up with, yeah. with one of his buddies, but his buddy was um, going to a wrestling duel that. Yeah, day. I mean, so, yeah. but that but yeah. he's at that age where he can start. Doing oh that yeah, stuff. no, I would have no issues yeah. with him going yeah. with Nate taking him down there, or yeah. Chris, or somebody taking him down there and let him oh. kind of sit in his seats or whatever. Steph says, we got our hams ordered from Duncan Farms for our staff and family. Yeah, that's for good. Christmas. That's yeah, good. we're doing that for Christmas. That's very nice. Sarah says, one box is half a stick of a butter. One a box butter. of what? A Kraft macaroni and cheese. You have to use a half a stick? That's what it says. I don't ever put that much. I just put about a, I just I do a I, scoop. I do a fourth of a, I do a fourth. I just do a scoop. A dollop. When I'm doing dollop. extra, yeah. I'll throw, I'll do a, a scoop when I'm thinking about it, but I just usually, no, I usually don't do butter. Yeah. Uh, do, do you guys still get Christmas presents from Santa Claus? A live, oh, real quick. Uh, oh. You've got your live stream of the Christmas parade. Oh, Chris, good question. Uh, most of them have been streamed before. I, um, it's a game time decision. Because there's a game. Yeah, it's football day. Game time decision. Guess your loyalty doesn't go quite as far as Dane thought. Sarah Sam is be in town this weekend, or her brother. So we'll be doing some with him Saturday, I would imagine. Well, so you could run the camera down there. Yeah. Actually, you just put a, uh, a, a no. I'm gonna be hanging phone. out with my brother-in-law. Well, he can hang out with you while you do the. No, right? I'm out. Okay. Let's put it up here and just stick it through the, so those nice you, new do windows. You, do you get Christmas gifts from from your mom or dad still at this age? Uh, yeah, we still get stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, do stockings. Well, when you were growing up, I'm a little older than you two. <laughs> they had stockings back then. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's literally Hung socks. Care. Yeah. Hung with care. They were tube socks at yeah. one point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Times were tough in Greenwood County. But what was in them? Candy. Yeah. Apple, orange. No, candy. No, ours was apple, oh. orange. There'd be candy in there. So There'd pecans. Be pecans, walnuts. Walnuts. Yeah. Yeah. Walnuts, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. walnuts from Aunt Grandma Maisie's. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, but now, Kids get like AirPods yeah. and stuff like that in their stockings. Yeah, no I way. I think Sam grew up with cool gifts in her stockings. Yeah, and, and that that is a thing. Yeah, I mean it is. It's a thing. Uh, Sarah confirms it's supposed to rain Saturday. Oh, is it supposed to be chilly? Right. Yeah, it's yeah. supposed to be chilly. It's hard. Good, good athletes. Chance of snow sometime this weekend. Yeah, too, I think. I, well, I think. A, yeah, yeah. I think a small chance. chance but yeah, yeah. yeah but Pastor a Greg, I'm late, but I'm here. Well, it's just now getting started. Yeah, you're good. No, no, I don't pit anything. Ex- if, if we buy anything that's worth a little bit of money, 
My kids are going to know it's from us. <laughs> it's not from anybody else. It's from mom and dad. <laughs> well, and Santa brings good gifts. Santa brings good gifts, but, but he, good he don't bring dad. the best gifts. <laughs> That'd be Aunt Rhonda. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Josh, the Christmas parade is this weekend in November. Yeah, it's always the uh, Saturday after Thanksgiving. Yo. It kicks off the holiday season, Josh. You have to take you, time from not paying. You kind of went after Josh. Well, he's going after Christmas. Well, he's well, he's, you're good sponsors. He's been painting all sponsors. painting all week. He's got he's been painting. Well, we, tunnel. we got paint going on at church. Tunnel out there. Oh. Rise and build has begun. That is cool. What you guys are doing yep. out there? Very cool. Uh, Steph says, Phil, I know a place you can set up and stream. Yeah, hmm. I don't think it said Phil. Let's see here. No, it says I know a place you can set up and stream. Oh, my, yeah, Miss Phil. Yeah, yeah. 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 paying attention that. to that. I'll be. I, I, I'm busy Saturday. I got a lot going on Saturday. I got a lot going on every day. Sunday's the one day that I. You okay? Yeah. Both of our screens went off at the same time. Yeah. Did we lose it? No. No. It's still up. It's Did just, I unplug something? I My think. Feet are down I here. think you started talking. <laughs> oh. There's the personal attack. That's great. This is Guthrie. Christmas starts November first. What was your question, Phil? I don't know. Before I do that, I want to thank Greg Gibson. He's a fine man. Pastor Greg. Always, always supportive. We appreciate you, Pastor Greg. He's the man. He really is. We really do appreciate that. That's so cool. Thank yeah, you so it really much. really is. Um, what did you say? You were going to say something, but you've already, I already know you forgot. What were we talking about? Oh. So you've been working all the way up. I, I, do, most, I, do most people, like, I know a lot of people. People don't think I work. A lot of people at this time of year take a week off because they yeah. have vacation. If they don't use it, they Phil's lose been here it. every day. I've, I've had a lot. I've, we've, Dave and I have been very busy. We got a lot going on. We got another company that we're, that we've stood up that we're launching. That's taking a lot of time. And so, yeah, we've been very busy, very, very busy. So uh, Josh says West side Christmas parade happening last weekend of December after Christmas last weekend of December. Yeah. That's well, New that's Year's Eve stuff. Humbug. Yeah, that's not a Christmas parade. That's a New Year parade. You you do fireworks New Year's Eve. You can? Yeah. Oh, good. My, I'm going to be driving around oh, yelling right. at people to quit shooting oh, my fireworks. Oh, here's Big Grunt. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, no. I am scared to death of my wife. And she says, you get up and go, you get up and go. Now I just drive around. I don't really look for people. It'll be over shortly. It is bad for pets, though. So pets struggle with that. Oh, we got a high school huddle question. Kyle. Says, I'm sure you guys have already said, but who y'all got to take on, uh, take state in football in class A? Easy. We all want to say at the same time. One, two, two, three. Fairview. Fairview. Yeah. Fairview, 27 games in a row. Also, Washington has won 27 games yeah. in a row. Yeah. So I think Washington will be is favored in 2A. Yep. yep. Um, 3A. Yeah, before the season started. Playoff, Chris. Playoff Chris is here. It's you going to say thing. it? No, it's fine. You guys. No, we were waiting for the stat. No, it's all good. And Kyle says, no. <laughs> uh, Kyle. Marlo? Where are you, Kyle? Marlo, guy? Class A. See, Where are you from, Kyle? See, Fairview's going to play. Uh, is it Marlo? No, that's that's 3A. Oh, crap. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> good Lord. We talked. Oh, I got Marlo in my head from. Hominy? I thought you got the help you needed last week. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, need my <laughs> I think, I think I'm thinking Hominy Bucks. Um, Hominy, Oklahoma, born and raised, brother. Oh, well, you know what? We got Hominy no, in the championship. Yeah, that's good. I, we, we said it could be a good game. No, Hominy, Hominy is the one team that we think can give Fairview yeah. all they want. Yeah. And we actually think, I think we can say this, we think that'll be the final. Yep. Yeah, we'll think that'll be I the mean, final for so, sure. Yeah. And would not be surprised if Hominy won, Kyle. I mean, I just think defending state champs, 27-game win streak, you kind of got to pick them. A lot of them. players back. A lot of players back. You kind of got to pick them. But would not be surprised. I would not be shocked. I'll pick comedy just for you. I'm would in. Not, I would next not week? be. I'm yep. in. Yep. yep. Comedy yep. next week. I'm picking them next yep. week. I would, I, listen, I wouldn't be surprised. In the finals. I wouldn't be surprised. In the finals. I wouldn't be surprised. I got comedy. We'll, we'll be. Uh, Is that a private school? We'll be. Uh, no. we'll okay. Be working yeah, that game. Even more. I'm in. We'll be working that game. So yep. December 9th. We'll be there. We'll get to see it up close and personal. I want to put my request in and do sideline for that one. Assuming all is taking care of business this week and next week. Yeah. Yeah. But assuming that, I, I want to put my two cents in to do the sideline for that game. 
I'll this is your you chance down, to say I'll yes. Put you down on the list like everyone else right now has been <sighs> requesting. I never can see these guys until I don't yeah. inside. Well, I'm here every week. That, that didn't count for anything. Well, this is a show. I'm talking about the uh, well, game I'm, broadcast. And I'm there every week in game broadcast, carrying bags, setting up production, fixing technical problems. Johnny, jump, Tommy, jump in anytime. Help me out here. I'm thinking, Phil. I think I've earned a little consideration. <laughs> hasn't everyone has it everyone worked hard? No. No? Not as hard as me. Can I work all the games? Yes. Yes. I'm in. Thank you. Yeah. I, I want to do two games is all I want to do. Two? That's it? Uh, four, but <laughs> but I, but but there's two I really want to do. Okay. What what A? Oh, five A for sure. Oh, five A. Yeah, five A for sure. I want to do that one. I think that's gonna be a well ball game. And and I really want to do A. I wouldn't mind being on the sideline for for three uh, A. I think Don and Mark would be great for five A. You could do sideline or ne- neon. Neither one of them. No. Now you're now you're gonna make <laughs> me mad. Nobody knows five A football like we do. I believe that. Tell me what I'm wrong. I went six and four last week, so I don't know how good I know it anymore. Well, that was over every class. I think we know five A football better <laughs> than anybody. We're waiting on official s- assignments when we get uh, who we know is in the finals, and also uh, if OU or OSU is going to be in the Big Twelve. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's the kicker right there. <laughs> so. Oh, so I'm second fiddle. You guys need me when everybody leaves. That happened a couple years ago. Yeah, right? yeah. We had you, you had worked do almost every game. I, I did 118 <laughs> games two years and ago because nobody was here. Smiled doing it. Oh, yeah, I loved every second <laughs> <Yeah>. of it. <laughs> loved every second of it. Yeah. Well, anything out there that uh, viewers have a question, comment? I think we're getting kind of toward the end of this. Are we really? We can go, what, till 9 o'clock? Are we running tonight? No. You guys, got, we, you guys even talked about that, didn't you? I got on tonight. I, got, I, I think I could go again. farther. Dude, I've walked 30 miles the last three days. I'm out. I have a knot that's developed on the inside of my right knee. So well, you better right? not mention that again. That was, we'll move that. We'll move that. that was, I, I don't know, but that was pretty good. Uh, it's a, it's, it's a comedy show. Yo, Adam Sandler. Yeah. <laughs> you better not, not mention that yeah. again, you. <laughs> the goat, the speaking goat. Oh. That's what it was. <laughs> I can pull out a list. I got a list here. Well, let's can, do it. Okay, let, I, I got to pull it up here real quick. List of what? Uh, I can't remember what it is. Thanksgiving trivia or something? Favorite holiday foods? Uh, Thanksgiving travel advisory. We don't is, worry about Is your that. tree up at your house? You got it up this week, yo. What? Sarah did, yo. We'll put a tree up about three days before our kids get home. We're late. We normally get it up like in the first day or two of november wow we used to when our kids were yeah we did when our kids cannon were. was just all over us all week long or last we'll get, get it up get it up and then i distract him we took him i took him hunting for the first time monday and then how'd he, that go he, oh it was good we killed three shot three three doe little doe management and then he he's hooked boy he woke so up he liked oh it. he woke up next day dad we going hunting <laughs> <laughs> asked me well, all day it, long because it's not cold yet no, asked me oh no, well our tree stands are pretty nice we got oh where we where we hunt at, we have heaters in there. It's 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 like five star. You're not roughing it. <laughs> no, we're not, no, roughing, not it roughing it no it. more. Yeah. We're not roughing it no more. But he's asking all day long, every every thirty minutes. Dad, we going hunting today? We going hunting? You know, Sarah said something here, and I agree with this. Away from, but you know, it it does feel cozy when everything's up. It really does. Makes that beer taste a little bit better. You drink? No, not me. Okay, not after last week. I'm proud of you. I think I only had one or two, th- two, three drinks only in Florida. Chris is a drinker of the group. Chatty, some gun. Oh, he gets chatty as all get up. He gets so chatty. Oh, Lord. It's always Sundays, too. It is. It's, it's always, always Sundays. Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> it's chatty, chatty, chatty. Oh, how to save money on groceries. You interested in this? Sure. Coupon it. Coupons. Coupons. Is that even a thing anymore? Coupons? I think people still do the coupon stuff, yeah. They probably get them electronically now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Greg says, I got new lights and we'll light them up Thursday night. There you go. I like it. All right. How to save money on groceries? In general or for Thanksgiving? In general. Okay. How much do people spend on groceries each month? Oh, I need gosh. an average cost of monthly groceries for, this for, for one a- adult Okay. on the Thrifty plan. One adult? One adult. This is a month? A month. 
in the tr- or you can give me a family of four. In this year's in in this day, right now? this day and age, infla- this, information this, infa- this information information just came to okay. me this week. So. Well, okay, I, I think we can do F- this. Family of four. You want to do, do a family of four? four. Yeah, okay, family of four. I'm going to say average cost. Average cost for a month. Yes, for a family of four. Family of four. I'm going to say eight hundred bucks a month. I'm going to say twelve hundred bucks. Mm, you went over. I feel you went. I went nine sixty eight. Is the how much it costs? Even closer anyway. Champion. Well, oh, I was thinking a family of five. See, I'm family of five. Well, you said family of four. I know, but I'm a family of five. I'm a family of mine. two. You gotta, you gotta adapt, Ronnie. Kids, you're out. Well, one of them is. <laughs> <laughs> First one. Redefine dinner. What does that mean? It means if the word dinner makes you. Picture a big homemade meal with a nice cut of meat, two steaming sides of fresh veggies for the farm, from the farmer's market, a warm loaf of French bread, and a chocolate dessert. Chill out and give yourself a break. You're trying to kill people with that lineup. Well, that's what it was in 1952. That's not a dinner. And look what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good Lord. When you say dinner, I'm thinking, okay, fast food or something quick, something not as nice. When you say supper, we want for supper. That means we're going to have nice dinner. Your family will survive on BLTs, beans, oat. Oh, Omelets or big salad, salad a few times a week. That is true. Don't be afraid to serve simple meals or have breakfast for dinner to make groceries stretch. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. Now, you eat meat every meal, right, in the evenings? Not every meal, but, but close, pretty right? Pretty much, yeah. You guys have a meat dish every meal for dinner? Oh, yeah. Okay. Some people don't have meat. Oh, it's been so long. Some people don't dinner. have protein when kids they eat think, dinner. It's been so kids, long. kids thinks it's fun to eat pancakes for dinner. They do. I still do. I guess I'm a big kid. But eggs, eggs are cheap. Well, no, they're not. Relatively, they're coming down. Relatively, it's they like are. six dollars for a gallon of milk right now. But relative, well, we're talking about eggs, Ronnie. Stay focused. Well, how egg you, salad sandwiches. How do you make? How do you make scrambled eggs? You got to have milk. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. No, you don't. To make good fluffy eggs, you need milk. Well, now you're being fancy. Or now you need. Now you're being fancy. Or now you you need some, being some fancy. cream cheese in it. Oh, good lord. Oh man. Number two, crunch some numbers while you shop. If you keep a running tally of how much money is in your cart, do you do that? No. What's that? <laughs> no. When you put something in, I don't even look at it. Just get what you want. I don't look at the price. <laughs> yeah, that get looks good. Yeah. yeah. You don't look at the price. No. no. So if there's Sarah two stove tops, if there's two stove tops, you will be within a buck of each other. Oh, I'll get the, I'll get the great value. Yeah. So you'll go. It'll be within a buck of each other. It's, hey, that's a buck. You're trying to save a buck. Well, maybe I'm not. Yeah, the buck the buck would be for the for I the got, name brand. I got what I like, right? So like, if there's some things I'll buy, like what, what was that called? The value thing. Great value. I'll, I'll, uh, some so things I'll yeah, buy. Yeah, no, no, I'm not trying. No, I'm serious. Some things I'll buy great value. But some things, absolutely not. No way. No, I'm with you on that, too. Zero yeah. chance. I'm like, what? Okay, this one drives me crazy. Barbecue sauce? Oh, no, you can't cut. cut it's all the same. Barbecue, barbecue sauce. No. No, no, no. It's not. No, no, you stop. Best barbecue sauce? Uh, head country. Spicy. I agree. I like the sweet and uh, spicy. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Um, cereal in a bag? Oh, boy. Go ahead. Cereal in a bag freaks me out. Cereal in a bag, that's cheaper. It, sure. And it freaks me out. Yeah, no, it's gotta I, be in a box. I get, I get name brand cereal it's too. Yeah, be in a box. yeah, I agree with that. And Jenna used to buy that. Mary, she used to bring oh, home yeah. like an eight pound bag of of those little the cereal like black eyed peas. They'll call, lucky, they'll call lucky Lucky Charms called Lucky Stars. <laughs> yeah, and they taste the exact same. They do, but it's in a bag. You're right, Seabolt. That's right. You can't. It's in a bag. No, you can, Seabolt. No, you can't. I mean, sorry, uh, Pastor Seabolt. You can. No, you can't. Uh, Tanya says, you don't have to Wait, eat a Michael, meal to get protein. <laughs> Ronnie, you did this to yourself. I tried what? this. You don't. There's proteins in all kinds of foods. Jeff Guthrie says, nothing beats biscuits and gravy for dinner. Oh, no. Let's, let's just put those over there. Oh, there. I guess you're right. There's three grams of protein right here. There's more. There's more. Per per, serving. Just for the record, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand up for my bride right now because Ronnie's mocking her. I'm going to stand up for her. There's more proteins. Okay. Oh, boy, I can't believe it. No, sure yeah, this. you're all in. Go ahead. So we we drove to a grocery store in Oklahoma City to get a certain thing that my wife likes. It's called sales tax leakage. Go ahead. Yep. And, well, we had to because they don't sell it here. So we, we drove down there. And while, so we were, the fire department. while we were looking in the vegan department of this store for meats, for meats. Oh, this needs to be a little bit taller. We did, 
Thought I had the go mic. ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So when we did, when we did that, I noticed steaks. Mm. Vegan steaks. I said, you know what? Vegan steaks. Yeah. I said, you want to try these? Made out of mushrooms. I said, you want to try these? No wait, a second. no wait a second. No wait a second. This has a happy ending. I said, let's try these. Got a happy ending. So we brought them home. We brought them home. We cooked them. I'm just gonna tell you boys right now. The best tasting steak I've ever had. It's not a steak. It's mushroom steak. Well, that's why I did this. Yeah, mushroom yeah. steak. But absolutely tastes delicious. The best mushrooms you've ever had. Well, it was a steak. Mushrooms. Right. That's, best called, mushrooms that's called a steak. Yeah. Best, no, best. I said called a steak. Right, right. But it's mushrooms. I'm agreeing Chris, with you. Chris likes mushrooms. Love mushrooms. You so, would like this. So Chris would, would like, like it then. He would like this. Yeah. The flavor. Yeah. So... Um, so you don't keep a running tally in your cart. No. Uh, you'll save yourself from any surprises when you get to the checkout counter. Um, so Put a card in and give you a receipt and you leave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Number three. Kid, kids dumping crap in there. <laughs> <laughs> GF Guthrie, we've made a vegetarian Thanksgiving a couple of years ago, and we're still alive. Yeah. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, I do have to say this. You Phil's, know, Phil's... I put that one comma up. <laughs> no, I got to say this. There's certain vegans out there that are very food aggressive. <laughs> that, you know, I mean, are very like. How dare you? How dare you? Yeah. Can't eat that. That's not my wife. You know that. You yeah, know. I, I do. Yeah, it's for health reasons. There's also people who are not vegans that get great joy out of teasing people that choose to eat that way. I don't understand why anybody cares what somebody else eats. I, I don't care yeah, anything yeah, about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, yeah. but you'll see it on social media. Yeah. They uh, just go off on each. I'm yeah. like, dude, why do you care what somebody else eats? Yeah. It has no it has yeah. no effect on your life whatsoever. You guys are eating vegan, but over here across the world, they're eating dogs and cats. <laughs> you know, we're, and we're making fun of Steph vegans says, here. Did you know Head Country makes sweet Probably. baby raised barbecue sauce as well? Oh, I didn't know that. I did what? not know that either. I have to look at it close. That's cat. Oh, Sarah wants me to bring these steaks. Oh, she put quotations around steaks. Steaks. Well, she's just following your lead. No, I know. I appreciate her doing that. Uh, Tanya, I can't pronounce that one word. Mycelium. Mycelium. What is that? What does that do? Do we know what mycelium does? Made from mycelium. Um, I think that's like a maybe her aunt or something. Her is that like an uh, ethnicity mycelium? Oh boy. A few more things here. My, my silly man. How <laughs> to save dreams. money at the grocery store <laughs> or dinner cost. Uh, my silly it, dude. It's, an, it's an ethnicity, ain't it? <laughs> so uh, it's a porter. Stop. <laughs> uh, round up your grocery cost Turkey estimates. Area. Round up your what? Cost estimates. So if something's seven seventy five, just make it eight bucks. How does that save you money? Uh, it's a it's a trick. You're that fragile. You got to round it up. You can't just accept what it I'm, is. I'm just reading the okay. stats. Okay, I think it would be better if if we were to do pick up groceries instead of going and doing it ourselves. Because that way we can we can you can budget it better that way. Do what groceries? Uh, get on your app and make your groceries and just have them bring it out to you. That's a thing. You see the 85 parking yeah, spots? Yeah, no kidding. The 335 parking spots at Walmart are for pickup orders. Oh, and that's why you So you, you use an app to no, do I that? No, say, I said it would be. I think, no, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. I think we should. I, th- I think it would be better budgeting for us. Because I know a lot of people do. Is it Kroger's now, delivery? Yeah, Kroger deliveries. See, I don't trust people like if I'm getting fruit or because I can't have bananas that are bruised up. I can't have apples that are yeah. bruised up. That freaks me out. That's one of my things. Can't do that. What is tomatoes got this yeah. certain firmness? I'd be worried they'd just grab something, throw it in there, and then they I'd would. get a damaged product. Yeah, they would. I'm out on that. Just certain things, then. And That's, like, I wouldn't order a steak from that either, because I, 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 I got a certain way I want my steaks to look when I pick them out. Steak or a steak? No, a real steak. Real steak. Yeah, ribeye. Yeah. Yeah. With some marbling. Root of the mushroom. Root of the mushroom. Yeah. Thank oh, you, dear. But okay, number four. This one, I actually brought this up the other night. Raid your pantry. Oh, our pantry's got enough food to feed an army. We have nothing in our pantry. Really? Ours our, is our so... Our pantry is yeah, so like, stuffed. We got 87 yes. shelves in that thing, and there's not an inch of room for anything. We and don't have go- anything because if we have anything in there, the kids destroy oh, I can see anything I can in there see, yeah. within hours. So well, we don't even buy anything to put anything in well, our cabinets. Hungry. No, they're... I don't know what's wrong with them. <laughs> they're growing. <laughs> they're, no, no, no. It's like these they kids. They love to eat. Like these kids have never seen like a ho ho or, or ding dong before or anything like that. The hostess. Hostess ding dong. <laughs> you know, or, or popsicles or anything like that. I didn't you, know what brand it was. 
you can't have it because they will destroy it. And it's not like we, they don't ever get to eat this kind of stuff. They, they eat it all the time. But if you put it in the house, it's gone within hours. It is impressive. Like when we'll get together and watch a game or something in somebody's house and there's food brought. It is a sight to watch your boys eat. Goodness. <laughs> well, well, like Connor at the football games at Dell City. Oh, 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 yeah. There was rumor that we we're going to have catered food. He walked down that hall 18 times. <laughs> <laughs> <looking for food. laughs> Which, by the way, Dell City, that's the first time we didn't have food in the press and box. I, but, and, I told, yeah. and I looked at Connor, I think we're about two minutes in the game. I said, buddy, you got to let it go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, into the pregame. Uh, uh, but, yeah, raid your pantry because open, there's so much stuff in there, but I think you would save some money. Well, and also, it would definitely save you money because then stuff that sits there expires. We're talking yep. years ago when we had all the all of our kiddos by choice that were living with us. We had a house full of boys, growing boys, most of them on the football team, bottomless pits. Mm. And I remember our grocery bills then, and this is years ago, were outrageous. I mean, it was absolutely insane. We, Tanya would make, Tanya makes really good jambalaya, and it was one of those big pots, you know, one of the really big, big pots. That sucker would be almost to the top. She'd make it like on a Sunday. I'd come home, money boy, some jambalaya sounds good. And I'd go, so where's jambalaya? Gone. I mean, there was none left. Well, this says, I mean, nothing lasted. This says here, who says you, you have to stock up on more groceries when there's perfectly good chicken thighs shoved in the back of your freezer? And a couple un, unopened cans of uh, black beans and, and sauce on the shelf. It's so frustrating beans. when you clean out your freezer and yet there's chicken for that was like 16 bucks. Yeah. And then you got to throw it away. Yeah. 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 It is frustrating. It, the, the, it's, you got to plan. And that's the oh. hard thing for us with kids is we don't plan our meals good enough to where we, okay, we're going to have this night. So let's get chicken out right now at nine o'clock in the morning. You know, we that's, what, that's, that's what our moms That's the hard part. Yeah. 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 I mean, what I like to do now. Not every time, but a good part of time is to go buy the groceries that day that I'm cooking dinner. That's what I was getting ready to say. If you, if you can do it to where you can just go buy what you want, what you want for that meal, that's perfect. Is that not like just eating out? Well, you're cooking it at home. Yeah, oh. and you're not tipping, and right. you're not paying. You're paying fuel, lower, fuel, lower price. Well, you're, you're driving there and driving back. Not if you drive, stop at the grocery store on your way home. Yeah, like I pick up Lance, store, yeah. home. You didn't think this through, did you, Ronnie? No, it's good to no. bring it up and have discussion about it. Yeah, that's how uh, we all learn. Think before you buy in bulk. Okay, why? Okay, Tanya and I were two people, and one's a that's one's right, a, Phil. Tanya, you're right. Two people, two people and yeah. one's a vegan, and we'll go to Sam's and buy bulk. That's a fool's approach to anything. It's really gotten to the point. We really don't do that anymore because there's really no way to buy. I mean, I mean, two of us you just look at it and you're like, well, we'll never eat all this. We bought bulk. Well, Phil, we, we bought bulk. Buying in bulk is amazing when it actually saves you money. Yeah. But don't assume the big bulk buys yeah. at the discount stores are automatically the cheaper option. Right. When you're when you're grocery shopping on a budget, be sure to stop and compare price or price per unit or ounce. Sarah's gr- Sarah's great at that. She she like we'll GVA, we'll be looking at something like that, value. and she's like, "How many services have?" Hell, I don't know. Where's it say that on 3. that label? To 3. And, and I'll tell her, and she go, "Okay." And then she look at this one. Okay, this is a better deal. Let's get this one. Oh, yep. cool. And she's like the bigger yeah, one. She's real good That's at good. it. Yeah. And she's usually a bigger one that yeah. you know it's a better value. Yeah, she's yeah. she's real good at that. So what's what's your go to meal? Steak for him. Yeah, I'd say yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, steak with green beans or asparagus or asparagus. With macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Throw some barbecue on the mac and cheese, yeah. too. Oh, that's a little aggressive. That's good. That's oh, it's a little aggressive. It was ketchup. It was ketchup back in the day. I've, I've, oh, yeah. I've, yeah, it was ketchup, ketchup. back in the day. I've ketchup got, was everything. Yeah. I've gotten better using more pepper now. So instead of, like, salt pe- not to your level, but, oh. yeah, a dash of it. I, I, I've grown to like pepper. You got to well, get the Voodoo uh, Meat Church. That's really good in um, mac and cheese. Yeah, it gives a better presentation to it instead of just yellow. You give some peppers on top of it. No window shop. No when to shop? Sarah's good at that, too. When do, you, when do you not shop? When it comes to getting a good deal, timing is key. Okay, let me hear this. Many experts say it's cheaper to do your food shopping on Wednesdays. 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 Is the food fresh on Wednesdays? That's because okay. grocery stores restock their shelves midweek and mark down what didn't sell from the week before. So you're getting the not fresh stuff. Well, a can of green beans is going to be... No, a can of green beans, but what about bread? Well, if there's a lot of bread and then it's fresh. If there's not a lot of bread. Do you, okay, integrity test, Ronnie, you ready? Okay. Do you buy all of your groceries in Guthrie? Yes. Okay. Okay. Ronnie? Yes. Okay. 
Next question. Next Bill? <laughs> I didn't think this through, did I? No. Nope. And I go to I go to our Guthrie Walmart, as you know. Philmart. Philmart. A ton. But but I guess if I want a good steak or if I if I'm if I'm smoking some meats, I will go to Sam's. Has you I, been to the new crest? Because because normally when we when we when we cook and make uh like I would, when I do chicken wings and stuff like that for for friends and family, like I'll go to Sam's because I can get three of those big ones for relatively yeah. not not as much. I don't. I do go out and because it reminds me, Seabolt goes, Chris, where do you buy your steaks? And I do. I I, I in crunch time if there, I don't have anything, I do go to Walmart and get what's best available there. But if I know ahead of time, I get my steaks at Sam's. Yep. Did and, you just lie to us? No, I just told you what I did. Well, your wife said no. Well, no, but before I saw that, I, I was explaining to you when I do buy okay. when I buy out for, for right. when I when I cook for family and friends, I will go to Sam's to get and get. So more. we're that we're that way with like fresh produce. It's hard to get because I mean because the buying habits of the community dictate how fresh your produce is going to be and how much you're going to get in. Sure, yeah. sure, and so and we've tried to do that locally, but to be quite frank, we've had a lot of. Bad luck, or we'll buy stuff and then and you, you start using it and it lasts a day and it starts turning bad, you know. So it's, uh, you know, we try to do everything we can here, but man, Jeff Guthrie says, I wish we could do all of our shopping yeah. in town. I try everything I can, but we need more options in city. Uh, yeah, same I, thing, I, I agree yeah, with that. I agree same with thing that. with gas. I won't buy gas in Guthrie, it's more expensive here than anywhere else. I, we, so buy, I, we buy ours at Sam's. So if I'm in the city, I'll go to Sam's because yeah. Sam's is so much cheaper. And it was two fifty three a gallon this past week yeah. when I filled up. And it doesn't matter where you get your gas. Be Guthrie, Guyman, Ida right. Bell. It doesn't matter. It's all going goes into a formula. So you you know we talk about buying stuff out of town that affects city. But if you get your fuel, it doesn't matter where you get. You can get anywhere. No, it's I understand that part. Oh, but, no, I just but because I because I want to go to Sam's to get my gas. Guess what's right next Sam's. I guess I'll go to grocery store right there because I'm already there. Right. So if, so if gas was cheaper in Guthrie, I, I would be in Guthrie. I think you're right about stuff. that. I think more people would do. I think you're right about that, Ronnie. You, you know. Really do. And, I, and I will say this: Have you guys been in the New Crest yet? No, not I have yet. Not, my, my wife has. So I, I went not. in the New Crest. Produce is, I can imagine. unbelievable. Yeah. It's unbelievable, and the meat selection there is unbelievable. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's mean, built down there on the wrong side of Waterloo. Josh says Costco has amazing meat. Dollars though. Oh yeah. yes, it's yes. Cost Costco's you. got great meat. Yep. Jeff Guthrie says, if we buy something on Amazon, does Guthrie get any of that? Yes, that is called a use tax. Believe me, I make up whatever leakage I have on Amazon. Yeah, yep. Leakage tax. Yeah. We we make up. That 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 started a few years, uh, maybe four or five years ago. Um, Been that long? They got in our pockets again. Use tax. Yep. Remember the good old days? We didn't pay tax on. Them? <laughs> God, that was awesome. <laughs> and also, be careful where you live at, because if you live in the county and use Amazon, you should not be paying City of Guthrie sales tax. So your sales tax for Amazon, if you're outside of city limits, should be 5.25. Oh, I don't get enough of that. No, no, you're, you're 9%. Uh, but going back to Wednesday, if going on a Wednesday isn't doable, tr just try to avoid the weekends. Bigger crowd equals fewer deals. Yep. Yep. That's just if anything, supply and demand. Yeah. So now, now talk about when I told you my tax rate at the hotel in Florida is—is is that more than what we do here in Guthrie? What was your tax rate? I had like a nine percent tax for per night. Oh yeah, let's see what it was. And then, and then another one was like five percent or three, another three or four percent on something else per night. I have to look up, but I don't think where you stayed did not have a city's tax; they had a county tax. Right, so compared to what was, yeah, that was on my bill, wasn't it? Yeah. I know we've talked about this before. Do you look at that when booking a hotel? No. No. 7% state occupancy tax, 5% county tax. So 12%. 12%. So 12%. 16% 16% here. Yeah, 4% lower. They also get millions of millions. people where you were. Yeah. 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 Chris, you're number one. We love you. What's Thank you. Oh, that's a plant. Whatever, they didn't even spell your name right. I don't even know who you are. Well, we're not going to be technical on spelling. They don't even know who you are. Yeah, this is a bot. It's a bot. Yeah. No, they'll say something to clarify that it's not a bot. Do you know who that is? Uh, number seven, start freezing and storing meals it, it, now. It's Jim Bob. It's Jim Bob. <laughs> Jim, Jim Bob, Bob from Dell City. Jim Bob yeah. from Dell City. <laughs> or McAllister or whoever. 
Uh, McGinnis. Start freezing and storing your meals now. Number eight, pay with cash. Yeah, that's true with anything. Ooh, debit card's cash. Yeah, kind of. Well, how's it not? Well, when you actually give green, you actually give dollars, it means more than a card. That's true. Sarah, yeah, same thing. When Sarah, when, you anymore. when Sarah goes away for on business or something like that, she will make us meals and freeze them. I have a list I got to make it that day. You got a good wife. She's great. Yeah, she really is. Number nine, make a plan and stick to the list. Or she doesn't trust me. I, I think it's more <laughs> that. Right? She wants to make sure her baby is good. Yeah. <laughs> How about order curbside pickup? What, what's, what's, what's that? What's that? Like... The 85 parking spots at Walmart? Use uh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I said, you know, how does that save you money? Oh, it's absolutely You saves budget you money. it because, again, when I walk through, I see some, oh, crap, I want that. Yeah. When I was a, when I was going for bananas, there, ended up shiny, with a set, shiny a set things. of tires. Yeah. Shiny things. Yeah. Yeah. That's happened to me every time I went there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Order curbside, Phil. Oh, save, save I need a pair of socks. <laughs> Go home. 487 pair of socks. You have 15 pair of yellow gloves. I do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shop in season. How many pairs of cowboy boots do you own? Uh, the plus the ones that I took from you. Two, three? Three pairs. Cowboy boots? You took cowboy boots? Right? Oh, no, the warm boots. Oh, the boots. Square toe oh, or boots? point? Square toe like or point? All boots. I'm in the cowboy boots. I have, I have like seven pair of cowboy boots. Uh, Joe Bob, I'm not double even S. A cowboy. We we'll love you too. Boots? There's. There's love for all three. From I saw this picture that you posted today, and this is exactly what I figured you would look like back then. Yeah. That is that is the classic look back then. Of the 80s. The polo, yeah, yeah. the shorts with that belt. Remember that oh, belt yeah. right hanging. there? You had to have it hanging. Had to have it hanging. I guarantee you he's wearing a pair of loafers right I, now. Oh, yeah. I guarantee, I guarantee you he's wearing a pair of loafers 100%. right there. That is 100% feel. When I saw that, I said, I, I 100% <laughs> see him dressed like that. 100%. That is Phil. Yeah. Nichols, right hey, there. Hey, that hair's not too bad. I was. Is uh, that the private school college I'm t-shirt? Th- no, no, I wasn't that young. I was. Uh, that's a promise keeper shirt, actually. Um, Is that like trapper keeper? It was a Christian men's organization. Used to meet in big stadiums. Um, started by the Cult. former head coach of the Colorado Buffaloes when they had a real coach. Gary Barnett. Uh, no, when they had a real coach. Oh. Keep trying. Um, Rick Neuheisel. Okay, you're still not there. Um, that would have been. So Jake is two. Roughly two in that picture. So that was 20. That was 20. Good Lord. That was 28 years ago. I saw that. I said that would 100, 100% would be filled. Look that at that. Was 28 years Hold ago. Up. So look, I look at was. that belt. That's the brown belt that's like <laughs> interwoven yeah, or whatever. Yeah, right, it's weave. Right, right. And it always got to hang. And I guarantee you he has loafers on right there on that right there. I was 29 years old in that picture. Yeah. Yeah, I was 29 years old in that and picture. And you had hair. Well, yeah. Yeah, I started shaving it long, not long after that. There's a there's another same trip, same trip. You, was those sandals with socks? Oh, please don't. Tell Asic me no. black tennis shoes. Oh. Let me see. <laughs> it looks like wrestling shoes with, with denim shorts. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. That's awesome. Oh my lord. Well, I don't, you know, I don't actually have to share that one. I mean, that was <laughs> it's on his Facebook. Aggressive. Go look at it. Yeah. That was funny. That's good stuff, though. Yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, we, you know where we were at in those pictures? Uh, SeaWorld. No. We were in uh, Idaho in those pictures. I've never been to Idaho. I don't know. Yeah, we were in Idaho. I didn't know. That was, that was a trip. The first time I laid eyes on the blue football field for uh, Boise, Boise State. State. Boise State. Yep. Uh, Steph... Never use debit card. If hacked or stolen, they can drain your account. Always credit card. Plus your points. Plus you get points and or cash back. Completely opposite of what we talked about today. Yeah. Uh, Phil looking sharp. I, I've, I've heard I've heard millionaires, businessmen talk about that about using about using credit card. As long as you pay it off on time. That's right. He said because if anything ever happened, it's the bank's money. It's not your money. But again, that's hard for 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 the average American to do. Yeah. Well, don't let don't let your uh, payment get lost in the mail, or then you're gonna hit. Nobody with sends credit. payments in the mail no more, Chris. I'm saying it's, it's online now. Dave Ramsey. It's called. It's called. Oh, the Chris is no longer with Sarah, us. Sarah Chris asked is me, no longer Sarah with us. Sarah asked me something today. Dave Ramsey has officially shown up. No, no, no. Sarah asked me something today while we're driving so back those, from Sam's those, or something those like those that. Credit card companies they, and uh, they just get by every and, week. And then how they have all this money? I said the average American. And then Sarah asked me a question. Does Chris 
have one of those? Or did he buy that? I said, Dave Ramsey told him no. <laughs> have, have, one, have what? I don't. I forgot what oh. she asked me, but I said, yeah, Dave Ramsey would say no. So, no, you don't have that. <laughs> Dave, 90% of what Dave says, I agree with. Maybe I, maybe, I, yeah. Um, ignore eye level items. Well, that's hard. They put all the stuff that, at eye level. Mm-hmm. Have you ever noticed that the most expensive items on the grocery sh- grocery shelves are right at your eye level? Yes, and the, the other thing I was told, if you want to eat healthy, shop in the outside aisles, not the inside aisles. Inside's where all the processed stuff's at. All the, the processed good stuff? The, the, yeah, the stuff that tastes good. Yeah. Real thing. The more affordable brands tend to be higher or lower on the shelves. Think of it as a treasure hunt for the best price. Yeah. Try different grocery stores. Well, yeah. I think that's good. I go to two here in town. You go, you go to, what's this one called? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we go there. Yeah. Oh, that's where the crime committed. Oh, I don't know. Honeybun. Oh, Honeybun, yeah. Honeybun, yeah. <laughs> Honeybun, yeah. Honeybun. Yeah. They still haven't recovered from that. Oh, it changed the name of the store. <laughs> Dave Ramsey, twice. Dave Ramsey, no one gets rich off credit card points. No, but again. No one also gets rich by never having debt. Yeah, exactly. Seabolt, uh, we have run into this many, many, many times. Hard to get a rental car on a debit card, though. It is 100% true. It well, that's, that's what, I mean, listen. Rental car. There's no shame in having a credit card. Just pay the damn thing off. Oh, use, I love that. Use, that's what use Turo. I don't, you don't need a credit card well, for Turo. You pay, it up. you pay it off every month. You don't have debt. Exactly right. Well, how do these credit cards have all this? Because most people don't pay it off every The average month. American. Like you, go, you go to a casino. Guess what they have for you? A player's card. Guess what you get when they use your player's card? You get points. You get You get food. Right, Phil? Oh, Tanya and I made an agreement. Oh, you're out? Oh, no what? revivals for a while. Took a beating? No, 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 no. I just, oh. I, honestly, last few times I've been, I haven't, yeah, no. Last few times I've been, I really haven't had that much fun. It's because you're going by yourself now. No, friend. no. Oh, on Sunday nights at no, midnight. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Three, the same until four in the no. morning. <laughs> That's why I, my favorite joke is I'll go up to somebody and I'll say, man, I'm really worried about Jim. I see him at the casino every time I'm over there. <laughs> <laughs> he is there all the time. He's <laughs> always there. I'm worried about him. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm taking a break. I am. I'm taking a break. Till the weekend? Or? No, no, no. I'm taking a real break. Well, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll no, go no, next no, weekend? No, yeah, what's the br- time was? Uh, six months, maybe. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. How much, Chris? We, bet, how much we betting? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> uh, uh, no, we are. I'm, I'm taking a break. No, no. Well, we're not worried about Tanya. No, I'm, I, I don't go to the casinos by myself anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no way he makes it six months. Oh, I can make it six months. No chance. Oh, 100% chance. Oh, he won't tell you if he goes. Oh, I know. No, ask Tanya. She'll tell you. A hundred percent chance I can go six months. A hundred percent chance. What do you do New Year's Eve? It's the best time to go. Oh, I'm not going New Year's Eve. That's when all the amateurs are out. You, you push, I don't a, leave bu- the, I don't you leave push the a button on the slot machine. You don't have to. I don't leave the house. No, I don't. There. I don't like driving on New Year's Eve. Another way to say bunny BYOB. Oh, I know what that is. Bring your own Bible. Bring your own bag. Oh, bag. Oh, okay. of what? Grocery store bag. Oh, lots of stores will give you a discount on your total grocery bill just for bringing a reusable bag. I think. Um, Don't shop when you're hungry. Oh well, oh, hell, I can never go to the store. That's the worst. I'm hungry all the time. Golly. Chris says I eat all the time. You do. Eat all the time. I don't eat all the time. Connor eats all the time. That's silly. Phil eats all the time. No, I don't. Sorry, indigestion. <laughs> 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 don't buy more than you need. Okay, that's I have that. I t- I'm tough with that one. Yeah. Yeah. Test out your green thumb. You can grow your own tomatoes. Oh, that's bill out. peppers, cauliflower, cauliflower in your own garden. No, Tony likes the garden. Don't have a garden and yard? No problem. There are plenty of indoor garden kits out there. Start by planting small herbs like parsley and herbs. Cilantro. Herbs, Chris. Herbs. Herbs. When I say herbs, 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 herbs. My bad. Parsley, <laughs> cilantro, rosemary, cilantro. right there in your kitchen. 19, use your apps on your small, smartphone. We kind of talked about that. You earlier. get apps? Yeah, you get rebates on those apps. Really? Mm-hmm. I use my Chick-fil-A app today. For what? I got points. Uh, Ibotta, Receipt Hog, Check 51, Checkout 51, Fetch Rewards, or just a few of the great apps that can help you save. 
while rebates don't give you a discount up front like traditional oh. coupons, you can sh- should see savings in the long run. Uh, Pastor Greg, look through your kitchen, see what you need, write it down, and, and buy only what's on the list. We've been trying to do that lately. I always fail, but we've been trying. Try going meatless for a meal. Or maybe for a month. You'll be healthier, you'll feel better, you'll lose weight. Oh, I'm going to do the Dana White thing. Oh, What's the Dana meat? White thing? No, no, no. He, he, um, Al Michaels eats a steak every day. No, he, um, yeah, look at Al he Michael. fasted for... Um, still doing NFL games in the 70s. I guess he's doing okay then. Right? <laughs> Saturday to Wednesday, how long is that? Well, that's five days, right? He did a five-day fast. Dana White did. All he, all he had was... Five days? It's four days. Four days. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. No. You said Wednesday to Saturday, didn't you? Saturday to Wednesday. Oh, I, I apologize. I heard. Yeah. Dyslexia. You he did the uh, Wednesday, Thursday. You Friday. want to make fun of that? Dyslexia? <laughs> you want to attack all of us with dyslexia? <laughs> you don't have it, so I'm going to laugh at okay. you. Five day fast, four four or five day fast, whatever it was. Uh, all he had was water and chicken broth. Yeah. Tanya does this, uh, what's it called? Um, where they uh, starve? Well, no. no. I'm, it's. Um, Make it in a blender. It's uh, not smooth. Milkshake. Not no, I wish. It's, um, what do you call that? Anyway. But, yeah, you can do little things uh, like uh, that. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm talking <laughs> yeah, about. Juice. Yeah. Juicing fast. She'll do a juice fast. Have you ever, what's the longest you've ever went without meat? Seriously. Oh, I, I, I don't know how long, but I, I've gone days. Days without Probably. meat? Probably. I mean, you can throw in, well, I eat meat in my spaghetti. Yeah. I want to hear this. You you have chicken in your salads. Tacos last night. That's meat. Uh, lasagna. Sometimes they eat cheese lasagna. Cheese lasagna. Yeah. I had an omelet today for lunch. That had meat in it. Yeah. Three of them. Let's see here. Uh, Sarah says, take a picture of your cabinet and ask chat GPT what your meals, what you, what meals you can make it with. That's true. Really? Yeah. Are you serious? She's a genius. Jeff Guthrie, meatless Mondays? Yeah, just don't eat meat on Mondays. No, that had meat on it. Oh, I know, Chris. That's why I'm still waiting. I had Subway the other day, but I got a... Meat. Pizza Sub. The worst kind of meat that you can get. At Subway, it's fresh there. It's fresh fresh every day. Healthy there. It says in the title. It's processed meat. It's fresh. Oh, oh, well, it says it, so it must be I get the meatballs anyway, and those are fresh. Really? Made, made in-house. They handmade the meatballs? Yeah, in-house. Really? In-house. See where it's scuba and everything. Joe Bo says, uh, list is good. They just forget theirs all the time. Uh, tamales. Uh, Greg, get your own fish. Eat your own fish. If you don't catch fish, you don't eat. Can't do fish. You don't like fish, do you? Uh, oh, I love fish. Fried? Fried. I, I, we, I, oh, at our... Uh, you like salmon? At our, yes, about to get okay. there. At our awards banquet. At our awards banquet... Sarah talked me into getting the the salmon barbecue salmon instead of the steak because because the year before the steak was 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 overcooked. This year the steaks came out perfect, but I had this I had the salmon barbecue salmon, awesome, so good. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was real good. Uh, like tuna, you like tuna, like fresh tuna, like tuna steaks. I don't know. I, I don't know if I ever had one. I don't, I don't think I, I don't think I've had one before. Good tuna steaks, really good. Yeah, guys. that's it's like really one of the most good. expensive fishes out there too, ain't it? It's real, yeah, yeah, it's really good. G of Guthrie said, uh, "Meat meatless Mondays." Next one on the list. Try going meatless for a meal. Yeah. Look here, carnivore. Don't be afraid to branch out and have a meatless meal once or twice that's a right. week. For meat's the most expensive thing you're buying at the grocery store, boys. Number twenty-one. Buy meat when it's on sale. And it's still the most expensive thing in the store because it's good. Well, there's a lot of things that are good, Chris. Do I eat anything that doesn't have meat in it? No, you don't. I eat with you five times a week, probably. At least four. I I don't think I, I always have meat. How's your cholesterol? Uh, Good. Is it? Yeah. Is it back under 200? Well, not under 200. A lot of people aren't under 200, though. I got the Just best cholesterol. Not anymore. Yes, I do. I had a new test. You do? What are you at now? Under 128? You're not 128. I showed you last time. No, uh, uh, there's there's different cholesterol. You're reading the one that doesn't matter. Um, Steph? You can't talk about it. It's a HIPAA violation. I give you my permission. Okay, send, s- send my papers. I uh, talked to my friend from Mexico. Oh, good. 
Uh, let's see here. All the way to Mexico to find a friend. <laughs> Gray says, get with me for my fish batter that I make. Ooh, Yummy. I'd do that. I'm in. No, I'd do that. Do I eat? No, you eat meat every meal. So chicken is meat. Well, of course. You got a salad once at Simone's. Did, was, did, was there's meat in it? Guaranteed yeah, fried, yeah, fried chicken. Or, or yeah. a ham. chef salad. Uh, it was ham's meat. Ham's meat. Ham's ham's meat. Ham's yeah. And bacon. Yeah, they yeah. You don't eat anything. What, what meals meat? are not meat, though? You could have a, just a green salad. I can do that. Oh, I do that at Texas Roadhouse all the time. You could have hash browns with veggies in it. I've had hash browns today. But but just that for a meal. What about like hash browns and eggs? Is that meat? That's a whole baby, I guess. That's, a, that's a whole baby, though. Uh, step yeah. back, step rise. Cholesterol is actually really good. Thank you, Steph. Appreciate it. That's a lie. What's he know? He's your doctor, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Him and Gary Banta. Huh? Him and Gary Banta. Gary Banta. Uh, eat leftovers for lunch. I did that. I do like left. What's your favorite leftover? Spaghetti. Is it? Mm. I made, guess what I made last night, Phil? What? Remember when we went to Stillwater and had that uh, Italian restaurant? Did you make it? Made it. Was it good? I made my own. I made my own. Version of it. I made my own um, Alfredo. Okay. And then we just bought uh, a fancy uh, can marinara, yeah, yeah. put it together. It was pretty so good. good. It was good. Yeah. We went over to that same place last night, Tanya and I did with Stefan and Tina. Mm-hmm. And I had the lobster ravioli. Yeah. It was absolutely delicious. Was it? What kind oh. of sauce? It's that kind of that yellowish Yellowish sauce. The one we had last time? Like the vodka, what I'd call like vodka sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's really good. So good. You had me at sauce. Um, here's one for you, Phil. So we're talking about eating leftovers. Uh, definitely spaghetti. I will always eat spaghetti. Sometimes I forget they're there. But that leads me to my next point here, Phil. Ch- chili is a great leftover. Gets better. Yes. Second, third, fourth, yes. Third. Pizza? Pizza. I love no. cold pizza. No. Chili. Love cold Chili pizza. is good next and day. chicken. Oh, cold s- chicken. Fried Sarah, chicken is good. Sarah has a n- lasagna leftover. Is oh, yeah. No, yes. lasagna is Sarah's good. leftover is really yeah, good, yeah. it's very good. Yeah. Alapana sauce. Okay, thank you. Yeah. That, it's delicious. I know that. We all know this. Going out for lunch will seriously eat into your eat into your food budget. <laughs> you guys, how many times do you guys eat out a week for lunch? Five or four? Five. Five? Oh, I eat four. I'm five. So no, you eat a five. So, so you guys have a group. You go to you go to Edmond. Oh, sales tax leakage. Yeah. So you guys have a group, and you guys go out to eat lunch every single day. And we play chapel poker. Yep. If you're dropping ten dropping ten dollars twice a week, I wish I was that's ten dollars. <laughs> that's eighty dollars a month being spent on going out to eat, and we're not even talking about a nice dinner out with friends on a Friday <laughs> night. Don't waste your money when you can take leftovers. The cheap lunch I did will save you a ton. Holy crap, you're going to live forever. <laughs> Good for you. See the testosterone level. <laughs> uh, Tanya says chili is always better on day two. It is. It is, yeah. Always better. Thanks, Steph. Always better. That's very good. I'm, I mean, I'm actually very happy for you. Okay. I was thrilled when I got under 200 on cholesterol. That's what the, I haven't taken cholesterol medicine in years now, a couple, at awesome. least a year. That's awesome. Thanks, too. Oh, well, Steph, I stopped taking uh, oh boy. my um, thyroid. Consultation I, 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 I take it every I take it every other every day now or so. My thyroid because the the Gary Banta guy, who, who's like a really renowned guy. You meet him? Oh no, no, he's he's t- he's on TikTok. I went, you you oh, get no. medical advice from somebody on oh, TikTok. No, this guy's good. He, Dana, Dana White uses him. Is he an actual doctor at least? Oh yeah, okay. he's a biologist. He he does it but all. Is he a doctor? Is and he and, and he had a great he had a great he had a great um. This worries me. No, no, he had a great video Banta. about. Why do I know that name, Banta? It's, he's real famous. Uh, he had a great video about about thyroid, and he talked about how your thyroid is working, and then like. When you go to a, just a normal doctor, they just feed you medicine, but for for something yeah, that, like for that. something that's working, because it only because it's only it's only controls about twenty percent of your T three or something like that, mm-hmm. and it, but it's and it's doing exactly what it's doing. But so they give you these the synthroid, and all it's doing is killing your thyroid, and all they're doing is killing your thyroid. What's with all the big words? So I'm trying to so I'm trying to get off that. I'm trying to do the more natural way because your body does your body. Have you talked with Steph it. about this? Yeah, right now on the show. Yeah. So that means no. 
No, no, he's he sent me videos. He, Steph has sent me videos about this kind of stuff yeah, before. Yeah. yeah, I got some stuff sent from him today on some yeah, stuff too. Yeah. So. yeah, Steph's very, very good at what he does. Oh, sorry. Strive Wellness Lounge, right? Gary Brecka is his name. Sorry, Gary Brecka. Not Banta. Gary Brecka, yep. There is a guy named Banta, though, that's real famous. Yeah, too. Yes. yeah there is. It's a it's a TV show. That's probably why I got mixed up. But Gary Brecka. Banta. And again, Dana White uses him. And, and Dana White's freaking shred right now. He looks great. And he said he will never go to another doctor again unless he needs a immediate medical attention or if he needs surgery or like that. Yeah. Because all doctors do is they just, all they do is, is feed, keep you it, medicine. Fit it, feed you medicine, yeah. keep you sick. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah, they're, they're bought off by, they're bought off by pharmacists. pharmacists. Yeah, I agree with that. So. I I, I, I kind of like that, so I'm, I'm out on. What's doctors. his name? Gary what? Brecca. Banta TV show. Oh, right there. Oh, Tony Danza. Oh boy. Banta. Gary Brecca. Gary Brecca. Is he a doctor? He's a bi- He's not a doctor. He's a biologist. Which is fine. I mean, he understands. Uh, if Low you carb, buy- high fat diet that has gained popularity for its ability to promote weight loss and improve overall health. It involves drastically reducing your carbohydrate intake and replacing it with healthy fats. But you know what, Tanya, vegans are almost all carbohydrates, and uh, she's got great numbers and all that. I mean, so I think it's. I think a lot of it has to come down to your own chemical makeup too, individually, yeah. right? On yeah. what works and what doesn't. I think. I think. I think all of them will work for certain people. Um, oh, shoot. Where'd it go? There it goes. Um, oh, boy. Wait a second. Can you hit the breaking news? Oh, boy. Hold on. Go uh, Ronnie's professional source holds a, a Bachelor of Science in Biology. From wasted breaking news on this. No, wait a second. From Frostburg State University and a BS in human biology Bob from Stoops. the National College of Chiropractic. Uh, you, you got the wrong Gary Brecka? Oh, no. That's him right there. The famous one. Uh, if you buy it, use it. Medical guy. <laughs> uh, how to save money well, from the grocery store? Buy it. He's a biologist. If you buy it, use it. Here's one. Ask for a deal. Ask for a deal from who? I know the people, store? I know people will go up and like go to a printer and it's for two ninety nine, two hundred ninety dollars and they go, um, can I get this? What kind of deal can you give me? I'll I'll, I'll take two forty nine for it. And sometimes it works. Well yeah, but I've never heard that in a grocery store. The first key to getting a big bargain to negotiate everything. Yes, even at the grocery store. The sticker price is the starting point, not the final price. Everything is negotiable. You just have to ask. Now, this doesn't mean you should stand at the checkout counter and shout new prices at the cashier <laughs> for each time they scan. Yeah, but, if you, but if you notice the yogurt you're about to buy only has two days before it expires, ask for a discount. Okay, I could see that. I could see that. If it's getting ready to expire. Then you bring the manager over and, and you're delayed. I've heard about this. I, I, this that's, that seems weird to me. Nine thirty-seven. Uh, Steph says we have thyroid supplements. Oh, yeah. I think I'll take one of them. I'm almost out. Somebody no, need to come I by and get hit, some more. I hit the wrong button. What was that for? Uh, a few more here. Celebrate. Preserve and store away. Shop the outside aisles of the store. You're not even paying attention. Yeah. What would you say? Shop outside the aisles of the store. That's what I said. Uh, inside the grocery stores are mostly made of processed foods that can derail your budget. That's exactly. How about a, how about a little celebration for Phil? It's not really what I was looking for, but it worked. Okay, that's more of what I was expecting. Oh, great question, Jim Guthrie. The robot checkout machines. You know how bad Walmart is. I don't. I. I like the robot checkout. No, machine. no, no. Listen to this. This is this is hilarious. Where's my ten ninety nine? Yeah. <laughs> this is funny. We went to Walmart yesterday or whatever it was, and they have your self checkout line. And guess what? They had self checkout closed off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like they're cashiers. You can't go to the human cashier, but they had like six self checkouts serious? roped off to where you couldn't use them. You had to use the, these eight over here, but you couldn't use these these six over here. So so if you check yourself out and you walk out and they ask to see your receipt, what do you do? 
You do not have to show them. I know you don't have to, but what do you personally do? I say no, thank you. Go check the cameras. And what do you say, Chris? You show them because they're just doing their job. It's, no. It's it's my stuff. I, I paid for them. They are now my stuff. I do not have to show them anything. I don't have to give them anything. If I'm not worried about to... people stealing. Don't do everything self-checkout. Yep. I said, you're more than welcome to go to the to – because the, I am not wasting my time. You know what? The f- there's been probably 15 jerks you've had to deal with. I won't be a jerk. Here you go. Well, good. Thank okay. you. No, they can handle you. Yeah. No, no, no. That's how you lose your freedoms, Chris. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All starts there. Uh, then I think we got one more here. Leave the overspenders at home. Oh, I would, I would never be I supposed to leave myself at home? Yeah. I like going grocery shopping with my wife. I'm probably one of the few men that sit, like to say that about their wives. Oh, uh, boy. I, I, Steph sent me my readings. Oh, boy. Well, it's a secret now? You need your glasses. Let's compare. It's 939. I got to get home. <laughs> oh, boy. He just sent me mine, too. Oh, no. <laughs> I got to have a new reading. This is old. Mine's very old. Oh, there. Mine's back. Oh, in... what, what's the, the blue is not good, is it? No, red's not good. Oh, okay. Red's oh, not good. No, I have no red then. I have no red. I'm blue. No, no, no. I have to show you mine. You may have to show you yours when we're not 12. What's your cholesterol, Phil? Never, never, uh, never which one are we looking at? I'll share it with you. Which one are we looking cholesterol at? Cholesterol total. Well, the total's a little higher than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was under two. I'm 218. 218, Chris? <laughs> what do you think I am? <laughs> Like 206. 213. 228. Oh! Yes! <laughs> um, Are you ready for mine? You want something. 149. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's no medicine. That's no medicine. Nope. No medicine. What about your LDL cholesterol? LDL? 83. Holy shit. 83? You're not even alive. 138 for me. I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> or losing, however you want to look at it. It's not red. Uh, no, I know. Oh, what is it? 156. <laughs> okay. How about your triglycerides? 104. Damn it. <laughs> Triglycerides? Where's that at? Right, it's right below, above uh, LDL. HDL. Right, HDL. right above, yeah, or above LDL. Oh. Okay. Uh, what is it? What are you, Phil? He's single. He's double digits. Ronnie is. What were you? 104. Triglycerides? Yeah. 104. I'm 184. Oh, I'm 143. Oh, boy, I'm dying. <laughs> Stefan said uh, HDL is your good cholesterol, I, so I have 46. HDL? Oh, I'm 48. 46, 48. HDL? Yep. Is good cholesterol. Oh, 45. Damn it. So I'm not bad, though. No, I think I think you want that number higher, right? Oh, then I'm, it, I'm winning. It, oh, on that on that topic. Yeah, yeah, he said that's the one that matters. He said he said that's the good one. So I think he went more of that, I would imagine. Yeah, I'm 48. Sarah says, I think it's the new vitamin Steph gave him to take. Oh, so it is. Oh, it is drug-induced. Drug-induced. No, this is before I no, this is before I started taking that stuff. What about non-HDL cholesterol? Oh, mine's blue. Mine's blue, too. Where did you see that at? It's down in, uh, His must not be blue. Down, for pa- uh, it's right above for patients with diabetes. Right there. You're 103. Oh, non-HDL 103? 103. Ooh. What are you? I bet I'm higher than you. What are you? 183? I'm 170. <laughs> um, Steph, who's for, winning? Who, who's the healthiest out what's of What's your this What's part? your ratio? Uh, 3.2. That's blackjack. By the way, you can get all these readings at Strive Wellness. Yeah, Lounge. absolutely. Very, yeah. do a great job. And he really takes the time to sit down and talk to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I'm it, 4.5. I'll that. never go to a doctor again just because of him. On the uh, cholesterol, HDL, C ratio. 3.2. I'm 4.5. Where's that point at? Right there. Right above the non HDL cholesterol. Uh, 1.5. 1.5? Is that HSCRP? No, 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 no. That's mine's one point nine on that one. Mine's one point one. <laughs> Where is it? Right there. Right above the right non HDL. Non HDL cholesterol. He needs glasses. Look at oh, him. No, I don't need. I can read it right look, here. No, what look at you. you. You're squinting. What are you? I'm not squinting. Really uh, five point one. What is it? I'm four five. Three point two. Okay, so we're consistently first, second. You're dying soon. Yeah, you'll be the first one. Yeah, you're gonna go first. I got you by a hundred years. I'm gonna outlive you. Oh, we got crispy luck to make it sixty three. The RS CRP. 
I'm 1.1. Where's that at? Right, right there, right below the not right there. Oh, that number. I'm 1.3. Oh okay. no, I'm 1.5. Okay, I'm 1 1. What is it? Zero point something. Where is it at? You're right there. You guys are taking all these medicines. I've never taken medicine. I'm not before. taking any medicine. Oh. The MS CRP. Is that what you're asking? HS CRP. Yeah. 1. Holy 9. Spirit. 1.9, 1. 1.1. I don't know if that's, I don't know which one's better. I have no idea if you want it higher or lower. Well, Steph, can you send our testosterone levels? <sighs> You took shots. That doesn't help. That's cheating. Oh, that's that's. Well, thanks for disclosing yeah. my personal information. <laughs> he's very, feels very personal. Yeah, with, I don't private about his that. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> just against the wall. <laughs> Jim Guthrie says good night, guys. Happy Turkey Day. See y'all next week, and also catch y'all on open mic. CG, CG, we uh, out of here. Steph says high sensitive sensit sensitive. Sensitivity. That's a big word. C. High sensitivity, C, reactive protein, you want lower. So you've got the highest of all three of us. You do not eat a meal without meat. You so, don't. So you want a lower number? So what's your number? on? The, he's talking about the S, 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 HSCRP, right? He want, you want a lower number? So what's your numbers again? I'm 1.1. 1. 1. 1. Just pull my information. I'm 1.9, so you're better than me in that yeah. one. Where, where, where's this at? The, this the one very one. last one. The very last oh, one. Oh, oh. Uh, 1.5. 1. 1. I'm 1.1. 1. 1. Lower the betters? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's what he said. Well, I mean, so I'm third I think that one. Overall, I think overall, Ronnie's in the best shape. I'm second, and you're Wait, best shape. You're last. Oh, youngest. Well, you don't, know what your, you don't know what your insides look like. As far as cholesterol a, a area, yep. Which is all that matters. Our lipid panel standard, is, is mine's better than all y'all's. It feels, feels second. second. Feels second. good second, Chris. So I need to take vitamins, like you guys. This is not vi- This is before I took vitamins. Oh boy! It tells inflammation increased risk of cardiovascular risk. Okay, so we want that really low then. We don't want inflammation. I don't have anything in the red, so I'm. That's good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> How's your estrogen feel? That's good. <laughs> good. Yeah. My testosterone, I'm trying to get 3,000. <laughs> <I'm>, uh, <laughs> oh, Chris, blue is bad. Blue's bad? Blue is bad. Well, hell, I got a bunch of blue. Oh, you're lit up like a Christmas tree. I thought red was bad. Yeah, I thought red was bad. Well, good Lord, this is not good news. So how many blues? All of them. I got blues <laughs> everywhere. How many blues you got? I got one, two, three. Now, just count the blue numbers. Just the numbers. I got four blue numbers. Four. Yeah. <laughs> We're in a dog fight. <laughs> Ronnie, you got any blue? Uh, no. Ronnie, you got one, <laughs> one color blue. <laughs> this is very confusing. Oh, boy. Blue is bad. Okay, we got to go. Does I he have to use the word bad? He didn't, he didn't have to, but he did. He's, blue's elevated. Oh, I got to go home. I got to write a will. <laughs> Get stuff ready. Uh, Berber bean. I think that's what he wrote on my paper too. Berber bean will help inflammation and decrease cholesterol. Why? Why did he have to tell us blue was bad? Tiny says mine. Mine. What? Will. Maybe will. Mine. What's mine? Get Chris some vitamins. Mm-hmm. Nigo, see, strive wellness. Yeah, you do. I've already seen. How do you think I got my? Why are you yelling again right now? <laughs> well, we're worried. We're, we're, we're worried. Blue, about, we're worried about you. It's the blue talking right now. We're worried about you. I mean, I'm, I'm of an advanced age. It's okay if I have a few blues. I mean, that's to be expected. I've lived longer. God knows, I've eaten a lot more red meat than you have in your life. Tiny says mine was 154. Perfect. Oh yeah. Well, what was that? What was 154? Her cholesterol. Mine's 148. No, yeah, it's good. But you're both very, very good. I'm happy. I'm happy with the results. My cholesterol is but through the roof. One. What time. do you do to have that? Well, go ahead. Do you right in the show, and I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I thought we were gonna go to nine o'clock, and here we are at nine forty-eight. Well, yeah, because we start talking about how unhealthy we are. We talk, it's still got a good crowd. Maybe we, they want more. We talked to Dane two hours ago. I gotta go home and eat a salad. Literally, was it two hours ago? Seven forty-eight. It was. It was close. I was being funny with two hours. I feel like tomorrow's Turkey Day. I gotta get up at like. Well, normal time. But I got to get on the road. Let's go get a burger. I'm not having any burger. 
that um, mm -mm. that one place is uh, no burger for Chris. I've seen Chris. I had one yesterday. You did. It, I saw the grease dripping off the bottom oh, of it. So good. It was so but good. I've cut way back on my burgers. You have. You have. No, you have. We had you one have. Friday night, didn't we? Oh. Did you have one Friday night with us? Oh boy. Where were we Friday? Well, we got Rock. milkshakes. After the game, it'll shut the show off. <laughs> All oh, girl, 15th yeah, Street. Yeah, I got a burger. Yeah. Oh boy, Stefan attached something else. But I. Oh. Let's see what this is. Kyle Hopper, happy Thanksgiving. Go Bucks. No, I'll be oh, oh, you now, Chris. I'll be oh, picking them next week. I'll oh, be picking them next week. My beautiful wife's in great shape. Oh man, never seen that one before. She's in great shape. That's incredible. Her reading, that's incredible. I don't know. I would assume so. Yeah. Yeah, there's no blue on hers. Yeah. No, no. No blue, in, no blue in ours. Is horse, no blue in ours. Last word goes to Kyle. What's Kyle say? Go Bucks. Go Bucks. Got Happy you. Thanksgiving, Kyle. I got you. Got you, Kyle. Go Harmony. Thanks for tuning in to the Open Mic Podcast. Join us each week from inside the Sega Banana Media Studios located in beautiful downtown Guthrie. Catch our shows on Facebook and YouTube and also on Apple, Google, Spotify, or wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Until next time, so long from Guthrie, America. Oh